Hey, no jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? In this gang business today, man. We got mm -hmm. the almighty Susgur. I'm in this You thing. know what I'm saying? We got Spider Loke, man. Little Spider. You know what I'm saying? To the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Baby Spider. Baby. Baby, Baby Spider, my free, bad. Free, free Little Spider, Free Little Spider, Tiny Spider. spider. Yep. Uh, I, thought, I thought Big Bro was big. He is big, but oh, so you got a homie in between. Yeah, All right, yeah, but, man, and he he so stumped I, down. The fact that he ain't bloodline. Yeah, I was able to handle that. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah it real is one. what it is. Yeah, real. You one. already know, man. We got one of my closest uh, homeboys out the East Coast. Is the Spider didn't even that. know we got. Imagine that. Yeah, I came here got today. That boxer, man. Yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. You know what I'm saying? I heard, man. Y'all been doing y'all music thing together. Boxy rapping now, man. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You know we come to them trenches, them hallways. Them, oh, them, them, them stoops, man. You know what I'm saying, man? man. You know we what like saying? saying niggas come home and getting right to business. Get right to oh, business, my mama, mama. This my nigga from jail, nigga. On the hood. We gonna get into that, though. Yeah, I think I'm finna make an introduction you, today. And these niggas had a reunion in my face when yeah. we walked yeah. up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I know the niggas, niggas, niggas out pops here and all that, man. On the you set. Know, that's all. Shout out to Big Box, too. These fingers is crazy. Shout out Big Box, man. That's what it is. That's a real to the casket drop type. On the hood. I ain't gonna lie to you. All that. Yeah, he love his young homies. He love his young homies. He love his young homies. This nigga ready to scrap. You ain't catching no face. That's right. He was. Nothing. Then we have to whip something for oh, man. Never mind. We gonna get to that too. <laughs> hey, look, I just thought about that. That oh, was yeah. the oh, yeah. introduction first, man. man. Yeah, look, this, about that. You know, yeah, yeah, but this yeah, what I like. Yeah, 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 come on, cuz. Did your thing. I know you was too far down. Yeah, the way. I was too. We I couldn't get, get down you. there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get you for that. Oh, oh, yeah, come on, come on. You know this shit regular. That's all. I was sitting here trying to figure how I was gonna find a way to make sure I get a lot of on the homie and get the. I, I really wanted him to shine today, cuz. Yeah, he, so he gonna shine, cuz I, 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 I know a part of the backstory, <laughs> exactly. man. Come on, yeah, man. Exactly, Come on, man. Bro. I was listening to some of his story outside, and I was like, hey, this nigga the interview. Did you know? Like, this the interview. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what you no, liked then off the rim. I'm like, he need the interview, bro. We gonna we, we go get to that part, though. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we gonna spoil that. We gonna spoil that. We gonna spoil that. Another element I appreciate, though, too, on my mama mama, cuz I've been a fan of Almighty Suspect. Since he got his name low key popping on the internet, I love my first interaction of seeing a real appreciation for him was he was on a phone call. They was kind of like playing with his name and the way he carried himself and handled himself throughout the whole thing caused me to get in his DM, mm. tell him, man, I peeped that you're doing right. Don't let nobody play you out your Cause pocket. You is a righteous big on homie, cuz always, cuz oh, always. God, he, if he, I do and, something and, wrong or right, cuz go, hey, you should have did. And this. I like how he came and hit me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Shit. a lot of for me. Don't want to show no love or like you know what I'm saying they uh, misunderstand me and right. think I think I'm just some tough ass bully and it's like that's not at all, bro. Like hey, I don't, hey. I think it's way tougher than me, bro. Yeah, I'm, just, I, I'm just a man. I adopt it because this my little brother. Nigga, <laughs> I adopt because I adopt because I adopt because I wasn't hip to everything, but I I consistently get my little flower cuz out here beating the streets down, beating this podcast. Think this. Easy. We it just was not, talking. Bro. We was just talking outside about how we doing damn near seven to ten hours worth of interviews in a day, man, and just running your mouth and talking like that's exhausting for yes. everybody that think that this is easy. Not easy. It's, it's not, not, bro. Indeed. It's not. You got to really intellectual, like, like really, like articulate yourself Come for on. hours right. on time. You know what I'm saying? To, Every day, and to even not sound interesting but to make yourself interested in right. actually having a conversation. Exactly. Right. That shit ain't easy. Exactly, right. People bro. think, yeah, yeah. everybody be like, converse. I'm starting a podcast. You talking no. with your friends is not starting no right. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's right. not be that easy. About all type of because you can you can be trying to engage with an introvert or somebody who has like a, a um, communication disorder. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they don't you, you know that. Shine and you gotta shine being able to pull gotta be man. able to dig in yes. and make them talk mm -hmm. and make yes. them get it up out of them. You know what I mean? This, yes. this, this, this gotta, it's, it's a flow. It's a steady but, flow. But, but, but come on, man. You know, we but, sit, we'll sit on the bars for three, four hours and just talk you, all day. That's why I'm like, on. man, they done hired me to just talk good. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, gang. A lot of your audience couldn't come on that yard 
and, and, and enjoy that conversation. Nah, nah. Not at all. Like, you guys have to have oh, no, skin, no, no, no. Who, yeah. The brand represents a whole. You have to. We got to be able to dip into that lane exactly. and, and there you make go. them understand well, us too. Compromising who you are to uh, our people, and that's you so, see me having a war with that up yes, here the last year. Yes. But you know, I'm trying to still be me, but I still want y'all to. You know what I'm saying? Change. Yeah, I'm still trying to get everybody to feel me. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy though. You gotta do you, bro. You know what's crazy? They gonna feel you, bro. They gonna feel you regardless, bro. Through the time. The, the 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 three and a half four years that I was in the county jail, I had came in engaging in bull conversation, mm -hmm. and after tired of being right there, I only really mm -hmm. talked to people that was intellectually on my yes. level. I'm spinning on, I'm yeah, spinning, spinning like the young <laughs> homie. We'll shoot dice, we'll do whatever, but like when y'all get to talk about y'all conversations about yeah. that bum that y'all was doing out Come there, on, I don't even, I can't even relate. So because then when you get to trying to correct. Now we got to fight because yeah. you, you think I'm trying to sh on you when I'm really trying yeah. to give you a little information, just, give you a little game. Yeah, and, and yeah. I, I always say, bro, dumb people talk about people, smart people talk about ideas. Mm -hmm. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, right? If it's just, if it's some, some, bro, and, and they know who this is, they know I'm and we can get some game from them. They gonna listen. Yeah, they right. gonna pull up. That's they gonna pull up. They gonna pull up and listen. That's a fact. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Talk I mean, to people that I can learn us, bro. from. Just want to hear our stories. And they then just want to hear about how we was touching money. That's all on. the thing. Like, if you wasn't, first of all, if you wasn't touching no paper on the street, you ain't here for cell phone robberies and all that. We probably won't talk. <laughs> right. You get what I'm saying? Right. If you can't, if we can't relate about that, and then it's like, all right, the money conversations, they go to a certain level, but then it's like, I'm getting with these old so I can learn something about life. Right. You get Soak what I'm saying? Something. It's so much that the went on in, in, in these older people's life that you could learn from what not to do, Perfect. what to do. You get what I'm saying? And and, and these people that that's telling you, hey, look over your own case, you dumbass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you just mm -hmm. going to court every court date, like them that, that you want to get. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you sleep. When your you know, lawyer really had lunch, lunch that's that's right. with the DA and the judge, right. but okay. you just going off what your lawyer said. Right. He had yeah. lunch with these exactly. What do you mean? You know I mean? He's chilling with the DA. He know him. First name and basis. And you know how many times the lawyer can miss what you might be able to pick up? Exactly. Right. Because they so do this all cases. day. In the you just a number to them. You know, you know how many times? You know how many times I've been in a visitor room, attorney visits, bro, and I'm pointing out situations like, man, hold on, man, you wrong, man. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah. He trying to tell me, oh man, it's a three strike case, man. You facing twenty five lights. Uh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Right. No, it ain't. Right. I just got these. Oh, strikes, bro. Hey, hey, they call me brother, man, not that other man, man. About. Nigga trying to raise that fee that he gonna yeah. get out your ass. Exactly. That's what the fuck that's that fee. They gonna raise bro, that they fee. They look at us, bro. We, they think we dumb, bro. Exactly. Yeah. A fact. Yeah. So, so because they gonna try to pull you an stuff. animal. I'm because just a product of my environment, bro. What I'm not is an animal. But they pass so many times. They pass. So you know how we yeah. get our, our when we see it peeping. You know how many times it don't get peeped. Right. Yeah. And they just on to the next. Yeah. On right. to the next. Because it's a lot of people that's ignorant and yeah, they just ignorant. whatever they play deal on, on the table. They they already thinking yes. deal 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 before they think of getting that's shit because dropped. Niggas and don't want to. Niggas don't want to deal with them with them wolves. Yeah. Right. Don't know how to conduct themselves in these certain type of areas. True. I know how I'm acting outside. I can't go behind no walls. Just like, shut up. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Shut up, nigga. And watch exactly. your environment. No, shut the be fuck a, up. You'll be a solid Sit down. Sit down. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he didn't been back there. No, he been back there. But he been back there. Yeah, but I just ain't never been, been in no prison. You feel me? You know what it is. He just said like, nigga, all that super talk. That ain't the place to just be. It's not a place to just be just expressing your thoughts all day. You know what I'm saying? Just pay attention. When I find a young nigga, you feel me? When I find a young nigga, especially like a young nigga that want to rap and I have myself communicating with him and he has the uh, habit to talk more than me. Yeah. I, I, I noticed that because anytime I'm around anybody in the game that I know has more experience than me, I don't be having shit to say. I'm trying to soak up all I yeah. can. Shut up. Yes. So and when listen. I deal with like yes. little homies who they hot, they got an idea of what they want to do, and they come up under me and like. And they keep telling you, yeah, I know. And because I, I was, yes. no, yeah, I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. If you knew you, if you knew you'd be there. If you knew you would do. If you knew you would do, nigga, fuck you mean. Come on. And it's not because I'm mad at you. I just realized you're not wise because I'm wise enough. No, when I'm around somebody like this, I'm going to soak it up. Mm -hmm. yeah, soak like, it up. Oh, you got two yeah, ears and yes. one mouth for a reason. Exactly. Exactly. Talk exactly. less, listen power. more. Exactly. Yeah, this yeah. nigga on some high power shit. Let me sit here and soak right. this up, bro. And it ain't say. just rap. If if I'm trying to learn about uh, growing weed and I'm with a motherfucking green thumb grower, I'm, shut up. I'm, shut, shut I'm up. listening. Come on, man. Yeah, Whatever shit you man. plan, if it's somebody that know this shit, bro, to the T, Bro, you need to listen. Right, yeah. right. Straight like and, that. And, and feel blessed that the niggas even taking out his time right. to even Come even, on, even get, a, this, get a whiff of what's coming in your ears right now. So, you know what so, I'm saying? So, SBI, right? Yep. 
uh, you know, I've been following you for years. You know, you know, you was the me before me. I always tell you that. Uh, the, you was the me Kendrick. before me. Yes, you sir. know what I'm saying? Like, like, and I always, you know I mean, you know, you got the infamous shut down the block on Lil Wayne. You got the, yeah, you know I mean, mm. you got the little shit, right? But we not gonna start right there. What, what, you was a rapper, Death Row, G Unit. What? How did you start there? And then I'm gonna get into my second question because I right. want to ask you two questions at once. Okay. How, how how did we get to Death Row? All right, prior to Death Row, shout out to my homie Wino from 190. Uh, one day I got out the pen last time, like in '99. My homie Bump, Big Bump, he heard me and knew my aspirations wanted to be a rapper. And at that time, he was like, "Cuz you really want to rap? You need to know your homie Wino from 190." So he took me to Wino's house, which was in Harbor City. And Wino had did like a lot of hits for Coolio at the time. Uh, so all the homies that was in the Because Coolio for one I know. Uh, right. Coolio from uh, Mona Park. Oh, mm -hmm. Mona Park. Mona Park. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, all right. But, uh, but yeah, Wino, I know you from the Compton Carson. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, like he from that line. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Wino just happened to be a producer that was tapped in. So I don't know exactly how their relationship got professional in business. But yeah. that was his biggest shit at that time to where what big, Wino was the biggest thing from the hood that knew about the industry. I don't think so. So, so when you go to Wino House, he had the big studio. That's like how Battle Cat kind of was like the first exactly. one really linked in over there with exactly. us. Shout Battle out, Cat. shout out, shout out, uh, Battle, man, Cat. Shout out Battle, Battle Cat. Cat. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. 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 Wino and Battle Cat know yeah. each other real good. Yeah, that you get what I'm shit. saying? Yeah. yeah. So what happened was, went over there, met Wino. I started fucking with him. That's when Blue Da Vinci was over there. The homie Spade and Blue from what I know was in a group called The Lower Class. Uh -huh. And, um, being with Wino, being over there for that period of time, I got to meet like uh, Trey D, uh, Daz, I'm not Daz, Trey D, uh, Dubsy, uh, Yuck Mouth, uh, J.O. Felony. That's real factors. Yeah, them real legends. factors. Oh, yeah. And on the C Keyway Bowl. side, like, yeah. come on, that's that's it. Yeah. When Wino it comes to LA, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Sure. yeah you, you know what I'm just saying? Some real shit right God. there. Trey D was my favorite rapper, like, like growing up. You know what I mean? Got, like, I Trey, Trey D was the hardest nigga in the East Siders. Yep. Yeah, I give right it to Goldie, but Trey D, Trey D, and, and he a real low. Yeah, yeah, yeah real low. Yeah, that's what I, I said, CMC brother. Bro. Oh, come on, man. You already know. Real stomp down nigga, man. I'm going to say, I done went to the main streets to buy some weed and walked in and looked over in the corner. And this after me and Trey D, he was dissing on wax and all that. Mm. That nigga in the corner like this, knocked out. I slapped him on the leg. He like, spider. Yeah. yeah, he a real East. Yeah. Like, he a real, real street nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. way in Main Street hood in the weed spot in the corner, knocked out sleep. Mm. Yeah. And like, yeah, he ain't like let that. this shit change him at all. Yeah. And I like niggas yeah. like that. Oh, I just yeah. seen him on Central by Centennial in the Lincoln, no tents. He used to have a green Lincoln. If you think nobody don't know, Trey D, I remember that green stinking thing. I just seen you in traffic. Yeah, 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 no yeah, yeah. Trey D, nigga, Thank nigga, nigga, got to tell him how you had the whole nigga roll rocking every Friday in the hole, nigga. He got what crazy. off the dough, nigga. He That's going crazy. crazy. Mm. Everybody yeah, in there yeah, like get that. Yeah, what? Hit that. Hit that. Well, you know he got crazy. What's his name again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. stop uh, playing. That's hard. Yeah, no, I took man. it back to there just so I could catch you up to like Death yeah. Row wasn't my introduction to like the shit. Before we got around this shit, to us, Sebo was as big as MC Hammer. We yeah, really, sure. I didn't know you was on the tape and shit. Sure. So Stockton Sebo? No, uh, no, Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sacramento. Oh, my mom, Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Street, 20, Queen, North Street, 29th yeah, Street, there, 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 The night I met Sebo, yeah, that's uh, I mean. let me see the, the night I met Sebo, Cuz was working on a song, and I was in a group called The Head Honcho with a nigga from Chester Street. His name was Lebo. And uh, at this time, I was like frustrated meeting rappers trying to pop my shit at them. But as a group, you know, I'm the mouthpiece. Usually, I'm the one to do the talking. You the networker. Yeah, I'm the networker. So this night, we had Wino houses, a gang of niggas in there. Sebo banged out, 501s, T-shirt. He got on some Cortez. He do not look like he on no rap shit. At all. Oh, at all. I bet Bo on some street of, shit. That threat like, assessment uh, this nigga, because yeah, he, he looking like right. a low. He, 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 he carries something, Sebo know about his tidy lungs. Nigga yeah. come at me when I was 18 for BMF. Nigga, I'm done. You can't tell a letter, nigga. I'm done. He doing it. Come on, man. I've been off that nigga music for a long time. So did the nigga in my motherfucking group when he couldn't believe we was in the room with Sebo I wasn't necessarily no Sebo fan I was remember I've been a super lyrical type nigga and Sebo was a real slow pattern right that, that, that was the jump speed yeah, yeah so but the nigga I was with he worshipped Sebo so mm. he like trying to pump me up to go get at him 
But like you I like, said, nigga, I don't even give a fuck about what he and, doing for and real. And he looked so uninterested in a nigga talking to him about some rap. I went from the play myself to go get at this nigga. Yeah, and then now, yeah, now we yeah. get into it because I feel like you disrespected yeah. me. Yeah. So this nigga finally took a chance to go. He like, fuck that. He ain't going to let the moment pass. Yes. He went got that <laughs> Shibo. Yeah. He was like, we in the group. We want to rap. Woo, woo. So we bust for cuz. When we bust for cuz, he was like, oh, y'all hard. He started asking, why not? Who is these niggas, man? These your little homies? He was like, yes, yeah, the homie, woo woo. So whatever song Sebo was work, he was working on a song at the time. It was like one verse on it, and he had the instrumental playing, and he was writing. He was like, man, I ain't finished this song. Y'all get on that shit. Y'all finish it. Yeah. So we get on the song and finish. They hanging out, cuz. I'm like, hey, man, my nigga, can we get your number, cuz? We finna get up out of here. And he was like, Oh, fuck that. Where y'all finna go, man? He was like, man, I feel like if I don't rap with y'all right now, I ain't gonna never get to rap with y'all. He said, what y'all gotta do? Pay y'all rent? We like, yeah. He was like, all right. He paid our rent. Hmm. Nigga, we left. That night with Sebo and went on the freeway all the way to uh, Seattle. We stopped that's at prayer. up north in Sacramento. That's play, we stopped right? real love. That's, that's love. Right that's there. love. He was on parole. He couldn't smoke. He bought like a QP. He kept passing out on the road. Every time he wake up, he'd be like, man, I don't smell no weed. Y'all fire that shit up, cuz. Yeah. Fire that yeah. shit up. Yeah. So he took a sip. He wanted to make sure niggas having yeah. a good time. Y'all yeah. got to experience yeah. this yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 He want to make sure a nigga yeah. straight while a nigga on his yeah. trip. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Bo. Shout out Bo, cuz. He uh, fucking with cuz on that real mission. Real mob shit. Man. Real mob yeah. shit. Real mob yeah. shit, man. And hey, we fuck with Mozzie too, but nigga, we, that ain't our politics. No, we, yeah, man. Fuck Mozzie, nigga. But anyway, eight hours. That's what I'm saying. Look, look, look. I fuck with Mozzie and them on the day. Mozzie go crazy. No, look. They don't, oh, my Miles and Sebo ain't got no politics no more. Yeah. They, yeah. they didn't talk. Yeah. And Sebo said they done found out they got some of the same blood uh, in their family. Mm. He say Mozzie as a little nigga. Sacramento is small like that. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't Sac- nothing. That shit yeah, like small. LA. It yeah. ain't nothing. Yeah. Nah, it's smaller. It's, 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 it's small. That shit but you know, like everybody like baby know each LA. other. That shit yeah, like know. Lancaster. Yeah, if you ain't it. But whoever doing what, nigga gonna know who doing what. dangerous Lancaster. dangerous out there. It's dangerous. It's so the fuck is. Because all the LA niggas there. Yeah, yeah. All the ones that can't pay the rent out here. You know how they thinking. That you already know. Niggas take that same mentality an hour away, nigga, and now it's the same so shit. Off that trip, I ended up on Killer Tay album, uh, Snake Eyes. Met Killer Tay when we got out to Seattle. He was mixing the album. We we rapped for Killer Tay. He heard us rap, and he said, damn, my album full, man. We mixing. I ain't got no room on it. That's his boy, Killer Tay. Yeah, if he's from Gear uh, Gang, though, too. Yep, yeah, Killer Tay, yep. Yeah. And then, when, I swear to God, cause Chris Street, when we got back to the studio the next day, Killer Tay, I promise you, I ain't put no extra on it. Shout out to Killer Tay, cuz. You know, I ain't lying. Nigga was like, man, I dreamed about y'all, cuz. He said, cuz, ain't no way where I could put this album out without y'all on it. He was like, let me, I'm finna listen to this whole motherfucker and find what I'm gonna take off. Yeah. So Killer Tay, like, with the whole album, stripped two niggas off and let me and my nigga get on that. So that was uh, the first introduction to me, like, really knowing, damn, you could be with this shit. Yeah. So after that, uh, that's how it was with me and YG, too. Uh, yeah, he stripped how you meet Cuz? Put me, we, we go, let me finish that right. story. We go through that. <laughs> All right, yeah. so, uh, it's about Spire. Yeah, thank no, you. No, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, because my, yeah, you know, my, 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 but... my fans, no, my, 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 my fans, they say that I, I, uh, so I compare you, myself. You make everything oh, about to, you, what they're yeah, trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's you know, my fans say. To, uh, yeah. to a, uh, you compare yourself to your audience? Yeah, to my audience. To, they call to, it to, my, to, my, to, to, to the, the person that I'm interviewing. You, you made, you inv- one time you did that, it was the worst mistake you ever made. Situations that you made would have seemed similar. One nigga, you should have never compared yourself to him. When you was under some misconception, yeah. Yeah. That's why I had to double back on my shit. I'm like, bro, we're nothing. Bro, I thought that was G. Perico, bro. I swear <laughs> to God, bro. I didn't know who the fuck that nigga this was, bro. Nigga right here. I was like, man, who is that? G. Perico? That's what he wanted you to think. I said, God <laughs> damn. All he needed was a 6'4 Chevy. <laughs> God damn. You say, Tay, Tay, Tay puts you on the album. Oh, and yeah, but before that, I skipped a little bit, because Wino, to be honest, I'm going to just say this to keep it real. Uh, Wino had got a deal, and he put a Cam album out, and he needed to put the Cam album out because... The artist that he had on his label, which was, like I say, Blue and Spade and myself, didn't carry no name to the people who had a check. Yeah. He needed a name for them right, to cut the to check. The money. Yeah. So he called in Cam. And so Cam got in front of us. Cam Ron? No, no K, Cam. Cam from Watts. Oh, actual oh, daddy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, actual pops. My east side right is that. Yeah. I'm asking my yeah, problem. Yeah, actual wow. pops. I know yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah, for yeah, sure. But anyway, yeah. uh, so when he got that check, though, he gave me five bands, and he also... Went downtown, uh, the homie uh, Sykes, from what I know, daddy had a jewelry store downtown. Uh, six, eight. Yeah, you know Sykes? Sykes? Yeah, what? Stop it. Come on, he yeah. be a man, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, 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 that's my heart to be a yeah. man. They got yeah. six, well, you know the whole, 
the whole East Side connection. But let me not talk too much because yeah, East Side yeah, connected yeah. to the BMF got a lot to do with the rocket. Yeah, 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 out of the five bands he gave me, I went and spent twenty two hundred on a, a hard time record chain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only ones was was mine and his. He had a big like he told us it was platinum, but now I'm older. It probably was silver, silver white nah, gold. Nah, twenty five. Yeah, yeah, silver nah, white gold. White gold, just gold and rhodium over it. His was yeah. larger. Yeah. Mine was smaller, but it was yellow gold. So that was my first diamond chain wrapper. It was a. I wish I. Yeah. So then from that, when that shit phased out, uh, one day my big homie aunt. Who used to run around with Magic from A7, yeah, began yeah, rest yeah. in peace. They was real tight, cuz, and you know. Shout uh, out to Magic, that's my yeah, cousin. Yeah, shout out to oh, Magic. Yeah. Shout out Magic and Foley. So Magic, yeah, full and, eight. Magic and um, Ant was having a meeting with Suge, and Magic was trying to get done deal records off the ground at the time, and his premier uh, artist was Eastwood. Shout out to Eastwood. Yeah. And as they was having a meeting with Suge, and Suge started describing the type of artist that he was interested in, which included somebody he had to come say from his homies and all that. My big homie, I was like, you need to meet my little homie. Yeah. So I got a call from my homie saying, hey, cuz, Suge want to meet you. Ironically, though, cuz, I swear to God, my mama, mama, cuz, up until that point, Suge was like, finna come home from prison. Yeah. And you know how the news was like, sugar be out in 90 days or yeah. 120 days. Yeah. Everybody I knew who knew I rap was like, used to be asking me like, would you rap with sugar? Would you go to death row? And I used to know it was the wrong answer to say yeah, because right. at that time his reputation was like yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah. But I used to, because I'm a lot, like, hell yeah, I don't give a fuck, I go, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And then it got to the point when it was like, sugar be home in 30 days on milk, because I used to always say this. When Suge come home, I'm making my business to meet him in 30 days. Yeah. I used to tell niggas around, I'm like, watch, cuz when cuz get home, I'm gonna push up on him, I'm meet him in 30 days. However, when he got paroled, I didn't try one time to, it's like I was set that shit for nothing, I was just yeah. talking. Yeah. It was so big on the news, I had forgot, I had, I realized, oh, that shit, way you can't just do that. I had left it alone. However, in 30 days, I got that call, nigga. Hmm. I didn't try. I promised everybody I was gonna yeah. try. Yeah. And then I like reneged. But, maybe, yeah, but like, still within the same 30 days, I got the call that Cuz wanted to meet me. So long story short, went, rap with Cuz, acapella rap, and he was like inviting me to be a part of his situation that lasted about two years. And it was obvious he was blackballed. It wasn't gonna get off the ground like he thought. Yeah. And I had to approach him and ask him, like, could he take my name off his website and we could part ways. He agreed, he understood, he was like, man, my bad. He said, I, I, I can't do what I want to. He said, but if I get my shit right before you get right, we're gonna double back. Oh, yeah. I had the courage to do that. It took a lot for me to do that at the time. And uh, I didn't know um, that this was gonna happen, but I went to Atlanta and I was trapping and ran across Young Buck. Mm. Mm. Once again, an acapella rap for uh, Sibo, acapella rap for uh, 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 Suge. Once again, acapella rapping made Young Buck invite me to the Shorty Wanna Ride video that was scheduled out here yeah. in a few weeks. We met in Atlanta. East Coast Buck. Uh, you yeah. the reason to join us. Nine Seven Buck. Yeah, he was Nine yeah, Seven yeah, Buck. Yeah, that's yeah. a hard ass lighter thing. Oh, yeah, I just seen that. Yeah. 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 That's dope yeah. right there. I ain't gonna lie. We better have these on the And we got, site, yeah, that's we got right licks going on top of it too. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Kids, it's all a lighter. Kids, do not <laughs> yeah. use these at home. Yeah. Leave that alone, yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. not yeah. ride around with that in the car. car. Yeah. You see what y'all can see what I'm talking Bro, about. I think, I think they was fucking with you like that because niggas not used to hearing a lyrical nigga on the West. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Nigga think you just finna just do some real simple ABC bars, exactly. make a nigga dance, but you actually, you I know what I'm saying, you, rap. Back, back in them days, this is how I used to push around. Like, like this is my little homie, right? So just saying, I'd be like, uh, hey, 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 my homie rap. And then somebody be like, um, they want me to rap against their peoples so, or battle. I used to say this type of shit to niggas all the time. Like, homie, go on and rap first, cuz. Cause after I rap, you ain't gonna rap no more. They used to get hot, like, nigga, you got me fucked up. Right, Ooh. who was you, nigga? Oh, yeah. But I swear to God, on my mama, mama, for years, every time it went exactly, nobody, it went, th it went that way every time. After it was over with, they'd be like, oh, I see you right, homie. Only thing I ever experienced was, 
Oh, yeah, I ain't battling you, homie. You right, I feel you, but if I was going to bust, this is what I was going to say. Right. Yeah, but they never come back competitive my whole life. So we that's, losing that art, bro. We don't have that no more. Niggas don't like care about competition. It's no word for biting no more. I hate that shit. There's no word for biting. There's no word for copying, nigga. We don't care about originality. You come out by getting famous by copying the next nigga, copy and paste, do what he did, now you on. It's no, like, I, I can rap yes. better than you. Yeah, it's, no it's no more of that shit. It's no more. It's no more. That's over. Nigga just care about if he got big Bigger chains than that's you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's I rap yeah. better than you. Fuck that's your chain, nigga. Sad. I ain't big better sad. than you. That's, that's all they talk about. Bringing that back though. When song. I did the interview with Big Sad, he definitely said he was trying to bring the competition. Yeah, back. bring like, that, that shit. That's the beef. That's the copy. Because I'm one of the only LA niggas to have a diss record to a nigga in my age. Niggas not actually dissing niggas like rap. I'm not talking about fuck your dad. Oh, right, yeah, None that, of that. I'm yeah, talking about yeah, actually yeah, right. rapping. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 on you. Yeah, I'm on you. Yeah, like I'm on you, nigga. I'm on your lifestyle, Clever, how you live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. actually rapping, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. need to bring that shit back. Oh, and man. even the uh, the battle rap. We were uh, just talking about that, though. Uh, yeah, for, for I, could make, I could make this real personal about the homie, but we awake because, matter of fact, it's my little homie because she was banged out from... Our inception of our relationship, right? Yeah. So now that he did a stretch, a dime, he mature, come home, woo, woo. Before he come home, yeah. I became aware he rapping. Because I know his lifestyle and I know the new style of rap, I just automatically assume he on that pattern, on that right, simple that shit. That older type shit. On sex. Mm -hmm. So that's all I would assume. So on my mama, mama, dead homies, I still ain't never heard the homie rap. Uh, yeah. Crip. He here based on a whole... He a champion in my book for whole other reasons. Come on, bye. It's my too. little homie. I watch his. You know, I can't wait to. I watched his day on, one man. from the set. I done watched everybody younger than me day one from the set. I, I'm just grading from my own personal experience. So I'm proud to cuss whole Come shit. On, so when I heard he was rapping, whatever I could do for him, it's already gonna be done. I just say that. You gotta realize, even, nigga, fuck with you for you. Not no even, content. Yeah, not no uh, media. Not no when media. I assume, nothing. Nigga, even, real nigga. That's my low cut. Even when I assume. He was rapping with the pattern style that I don't like. I had already committed to, like, I'm going to do what I can. Okay. But then talking to one of our mutual acquaintances, family members, I'm getting reports of his actual style that got me so eager and excited to really hear it because I'm, I'm I'm learning it ain't that. It's reported to not be that. So, uh... Can we get... Yeah, you, you fucking with acapellas or you just want to... Yeah, nah, yeah, I like the beats. I, yeah, I got to yeah, get on a beat, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I like that beat. That's, that's, that's how we vibe. rap how loud, how loud the it's beat got to be? We got some instrumentals. We got the phone. I met the actual guy before we record it. Oh, the hood. That y'all can hear. Is it gonna come through clear? Yeah, you just gotta turn it on and put it right by your mic. I want to see what he talking about. We get real, real easty up here, real ghetto. You got any idea where that word came from? Is a cool word. Y'all? No. Nah. No. Nah. where I come from? Me. Hmm. Me. Mm. I know y'all. Mm. Me. You know Easty been but a bad word your whole life. life. Like, you're right, I'm a West Side. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm the, I, like the I flipped it around by myself. Niggas called Easty. It caught on and it was, y'all, yeah. we yeah. did it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, ask us. It used to be Easty. used to be dirty. Now it's like, G Malone, let him get G Malone. Don't let history get away from G Malone. boys, nigga. Oh, yeah, let them know. They know about the money bag boys, nigga, on that East Side, nigga. They know about that mob, nigga. We make this shit real, man. They respect this shit, man. They know we getting chilly over there on that East Side. They might not know. What's happening with the money bag boys? Man, we getting chilly over there. Man, if you a LA man, nigga, bro, you know you coach niggas to mob, get to it, bro. Man, MBM, Come man, y'all know what it is. We man. might rent out the whole magic carpet, man, on the weekend, man. Come on, Remember man. Them Come on, man. Come on, bro. Stop playing, man. We might have that room in that motherfucker. They <laughs> mud crib. Come on, cuz. Come on, when the money bag first started, the CMOs was around. Come on, Come man. Come on. It was Come good. On, nigga. This, this was a. Come on, man. Hopefully, y'all can hear this shit. Your phone get loud? Yeah, my phone loud. Yeah, just turn it up and put it by the mic. Like these niggas, I know these white people gonna yeah. like these niggas. Yeah. Yeah. So what, yeah. nigga? Yeah. So what? 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 So Fuck the oppositions when we saw we coming hard, so it ain't no competition. Yeah, y'all got my boy good, but y'all home on suspicion. Why they ain't hanging out? Cause y'all the center of the tension. 
Huh? Mm-hmm. Spin again. Yeah. What? Spin it again until you get that man. Spin again. Spin it again until you get that man. Spin again. Spin it again until you get that man. Huh? MBJ. Hey, they hanging out. Send some young niggas through. That's just for tryouts. Big 762, they finna fly out. It's a ghost town over there, man. That shit done died out. Oh, Up the dude on eyes got big. Rodney Dangerfield. Doodle doom ripped open. His torso is a overkill. You took one of mine, so your life, yeah, boy, I'm supposed yeah, to steal. Yeah, niggas yeah. hide behind closed door like this Cloverfield. Okay. okay. Now I'm a tourist clutcher. What? Serve niggas shots. I play games like this Dave and Buster. Yeah, she hella cute, but she a op, so I can never trust her. What? Oranges on her IGs. This ain't Florida, so I'm forced to rush her. Uh-huh. Ah. I'm the Terminator yeah. Send a bomb on the bottom of the Drake That's the denominator I'm the nigga that sent them to your hood I'm the orchestrator what? Neighborhood I really hate losers Y'all are Oakland Raiders uh-huh. Yeah I'm the real dirty uh-huh. damn Ball take that shot He ain't gonna miss He got that curry hand Chop turn Patch his Swayze Make that nigga dirty dance what? Splash that whole scene They started screaming like curry fans Yeah uh-huh. It's for one hitter quitter Put a bag on the boy Now he can't feel when he go to the shitter Pain on my insides Got a feeling like a wooden splinter I was on that point here in what? Like medical center. On that soldier shit, couldn't it spit up be the coldest winter? In a heat, I saw the nigga can't even get a chicken dinner. What? All these young niggas do is shoot and pop it on Twitter. Bullets leave holes in your top like an apple flitter. Uh, <laughs> stop, stop playing with me. Stop, stop playing, playing with me. Stop playing with me. You know what I like? I like that. If you're not from LA, you're not going to know none of the disses he was saying. Yeah, you're not going to know yeah, what was yeah, going yeah, on unless you're from here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? He didn't do too much. He didn't do too much, but he did enough. I'm not from Florida, but I had to rush him. He didn't do too much, but he did enough. Come you know on, what I'm saying? Boy, you know. like the Oakland Raiders. Hey, come on, hey, man. Watch out, I'm a Raider fan. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> come on, boy. You've been, you you been like screaming that, at the girl. TV since she was 10 years old. Oh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, nah, because look, they worked us. Niggas ain't once they worked us with Brady first year, his his come out year when they when they said that, that it was for emotion. It was a fumble. No, no, that no, was no. our championship. Bro, you know what man. you sound like Al Bundy, like you know the old dude Tom Brady used to do hey, in high school. Hey, That's hey, a hey, old hey. <laughs> next topic. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> on the yeah, man. So when we left off on the um the young buck, yeah, I came yeah. to the video shoot acapella rap for the kid fifty. Similar response. He invited me to uh, experience what y'all seen me experience with them, but it was just all off of like, um, you know, meetings with these influential people by chance and me rapping a cappella, and the next stage always happened off that. Yeah. So that's how the, 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 pretty much the outline of it went chronologically. So, um, how did, um, so you, Already had parted from from Death Row, and then now you starting to uh, mingle with with Buck. So how did the I would love, the whole G Unit thing come together? Love, That's where we at next. I would love to highlight the fact that when I asked Shug, what happened was shout out to John um, uh, and Reggie Wright from Bomb First. If you know, you ever watch Bomb First when Reggie be sitting up there talking, yeah. you hear the little white boy voice behind him that be asking the questions. Yeah. Okay, that's the first person. He used to run the Death Row website. His name was John. So way back then, Death Row had a website. Remember, there was a big label, and it wasn't yeah. no websites. Wasn't no yeah. niggas didn't have All right, that was one of the yeah. first. He was one of the first. So mm-hmm. I happened to have, when you go to Death Row, they used to have a different section for each artist. Yeah. So I basically had my own website. Before I had my own website, it was yeah. on Death Row. So when I wanted to get separated from Death Row, the way I first did it was ask the white boy to take me off the, the uh, website. Yeah, for it, yeah. And he was like, I can't make no changes without office. Uh, so that's why yeah. I had to get my courage up to tell Suge yeah. I'm ready to part ways. Yeah. So I'm glad you asked that question because I had no idea I was going to meet them New York niggas that it's mm-hmm. like life the creator was right. saying get this out of here because I call it the stars aligning. They, they, they were aligning mm-hmm. and right. mm-hmm. it was on me to stay in tune to go because yeah. I could have easily said man I'm going to just pass. I don't know when I'm going to get next to something yeah. this big again and wait yeah. it out. Yeah. But I still approach Suge and not know how he's going to react. Like I said he was real cool about it. And then, like I say, I was out of town grinding and bumped into Young Buck totally. He probably didn't see how big you was going to be able to be, so he let it go easily. You know what I'm saying? Well, he didn't have he nothing didn't see the potential. No, he, he didn't have nothing for me. Nobody was fucking with him. And you got to remember, I he met him. to these people. And, yeah, I met, yeah. and I met him through yeah, yeah. my G Harmony hard move and Magic. Yeah. Yeah. He knew there was no room to play with me as an artist right. like he would play with artists. Not saying he was punked out or nothing. It was just... 
He knew it was gonna be a lot back like yeah, this him. If he was trying yeah, to hold like, niggas, I seen niggas that, like, that boy in the county right before he like took uh, his little time. Boy, that was he looking healthy? Ooh, that nigga was looking like Uncle Phil. Uh, 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 <laughs> he way. Uh, so, yeah, so he was skinny, having his he way though. Head. You know he gonna have was have his way, he but he was having. He was say, like the big nigga that I seen him in the visiting room. He was not that stress whooped him out. Time to do that. Stress whooped him out. He wasn't working out. He was stressing out. Everything. Oh yeah, that nigga. They gave that nigga 28 Bigelow. Uh, you remember your yo, first meeting with 50? Yo, I definitely. Most definitely. Lace us on that. Ironically, I was at the video shoot, like I said. Shout out to Piper, three up top. Mm-hmm. We was together. And um, we had been in this trailer all day, about 20 deep, with the casual niggas and some New York niggas. And me and Piper left the trailer to go get something to eat. That's where the East Coast is at the grapes. Was yeah, everything was lovely. Yeah, yeah, everything was good. good. I remember around yeah, that yeah, time. Mid-2000s? Yeah, yeah. yeah, early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s. It was yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Mama, uh, that shit was smooth. We leave the trailer to go get something to eat. And when I walk back to the trailer I've been in all day, a white security guard standing outside said, don't go in there. I'm like, wow, he like 50s in there. I hadn't yet to meet him. Like I'm like, whoa! I didn't know he had made it to the set yet. Mm, yeah. I had been here for like four or five hours. Left for 15 minutes. Now when I come back, they tell yeah. me don't go. 15 there. So of course I'm like, oh okay. But another uh, security guard, shot him. He up under your boy right now, my boy Big Dime. Yeah. But uh, CB. But anyway, I'm like, uh, yeah. he had been around. Oh big guy, about yeah, yeah, with yeah, the, that's, that's, that's my, my low. Yeah. He ain't uh, tell you where you from. Uh, uh, Plain to say. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, I tell that's you, my low, he loved me. Uh, that's yeah. probably why. Oh shit, yeah, I tell you. Uh, All right, so uh, he like uh, he knew that I had I was with Bucking him. So when he when the white boy told me I couldn't go in there, he oversaw was like, "No, nah, look good." So I was able to still go in that motherfucking uh, trailer. I got yes. you right there. That's how be with me. And when I came uh, in the trailer, cause it was God. like it's packed. The chain, the spinner had just got took. He really hadn't talked to Buck since the spinner had got took. This was his first. He refused to get on the phone with Buck. He was it had some days and weeks past. He like. Making Buck sweat it out, I'm gonna wait till I see him. I ain't gonna talk to him over the phone about it. Yeah. So he had walked in this trailer. It's like, it's deep. It ain't nowhere to sit except the only seat I can sit puts me like right here in 50. Yeah. I'm, I, when I walk in, his back is to me. I, so I gotta come, only, where the, only, only spot for me to sit because right I'm right the, here. Yeah. And at, when I walk in, he like, look, you know, everything get quiet because the door open. And then when he see me, he look and he just uh, go back to what he's doing, figuring I'm a yeah. part of the. Group like everybody else, yeah. they let me in. And what he was telling Buck was, look, I better not see D Tate take no pictures with you. He can't be around nothing. Cause remember the shit had got took from D Tate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that conversation went to about, you know, how hundred thousand make lawyers and all. The, I'm I'm hearing high power conversation. I, but you believe in it? Cause it's fit. It, whoop, whoop, yeah. man, and that, he was like, whoop. He like, hey, what would you do? Oh, uh, he shot whoop, 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 right in front of this many people. Where he at? Huh? What would you do? He did, woo, woo, where he at, home? So he like making this point, like, don't talk on no phone, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. I swear to God, on Crip, cuz. Remember, he right here. Yeah. I just start rapping. Hmm. Out loud. Nigga, this, my out this my time. And this my time. This the verse. This my time. the verse I used to start. All, every time I did that, I used to start off with this verse. I'm the most heated. Swear the West Coast needed. Blue cleated, undefeated. Guaranteed the three peated. They can't beat it. Gets mistreated. Dismissed and deleted. Shouldn't have competed. Spotted low so crisp and conceited. I'm weeded. 100 yards of grass and every pass completed. The Remy in the neighborhood in me is deep seated. Filthy flesh. So I feed it. Know the word, but don't read it. Tried to sit behind the pulpit and couldn't stay seated. Rap sheeted, so I cheated. Many bangers got breeded. Hope to make it to them gates. Don't even care. I'm Treating a pack, I'ma lead it. Never be uh, uh, impeded. Born in '97 Street, oh, I forgot, but it's a the whole verse go e de 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 I had about another verse I used to have that was all H. It was like separate the average from the great, and let me have my own slate. I got a strong trait to conquer. I was stood a long wait. I ain't got no friends, although I associate with a few tight knit niggas as we negotiate the appropriate price for the freight on the crate. We calculate and hibernate till I get my grocery straight. Yeah. Baby got back, but it ain't no debate. I'd rather live celebrate before I go broke. No joke, these hoes can't wait till they blood flow late. Hate to see me bounce to scrape the concrete on four gates with no mate. Salvate when my dangers rotate. They nipples twitch and get tight. They pussy 
popping pulsate, my parole date. Mm -hmm. And now it's my pursuit to control fate. I move 16th for 8 to compensate when I'm late. I demonstrate oh, uh, the genius. I'm a gang bang genius. Uh, uh, I want to be the genius if I stay at this rate. So there used to be my two verses. Yeah. And then like all the rhymes I used to have, I knew I used to just keep going, keep going. Yeah. And niggas who rap, bro, niggas know most of the time niggas rhyme the same word only four times. Yeah. M maybe two to, 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 to keep it going more than eight times, eight nigga, times it takes hard. a sort of yeah. brilliance. What? And that's my mama. Yeah. That's what, when I used to get that speech like, you better go four. Four is basic. Four, four is basic. Four Once is you go basic. past four, that you rap it in. Nobody want to rap. Yeah. You're rapping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six, seven. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that. What, 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 what was the say? reaction? Oh, okay. With, with Buck, before I could just finish, he like stopped me like, oh, man, them just words. How you move a nigga with words like that? We all know the same words. He like, man, niggas be on me with that puck shit, but you got it on me. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you ain't got no situation. Yeah. So, 50, nigga, he sitting this close looking at me just like you is. I'm wondering, did I just fuck up? This yeah. nigga ain't. When I was doing it, I could tell Buck Face I had him. Yeah. It had me animated. 50 was But 50 ain't gave you no sign. What? He looked at me like, like, who the fuck is this? Stone Cold. While I'm talking while I'm talking. He yes. just cut me off, right, and, nigga? And I could have kept going, but because of his energy, I was like, yeah, I could keep going and kind of stop. He was like, for what? He was like, get his number. I was like, oh. Uh, he didn't give yeah. no indication until I stopped. Yeah. But it went the same way. And we, he told me, uh, I remember, because shout out to Magic. I remember at one point at that same video shoot, uh, I was walking around telling my boy Dougie D from New York about the latest development with 50 and all that. I'm walking around the video shoot. Yeah, chin up, up, chest up. Happy as well. Yeah, nigga, I just did that. Yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. I look up. That's a good feeling I'm right there. Crib. I look up at 50 against the wall with like one foot up on the wall like this, and Magic got his, his crew in a half circle. Yeah. yeah. You know, Magic, you know, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Brody yeah, family, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know yeah, everything yeah. that's going on. Magic don't know what I just had going on. So I, when I walk past and see it, I can recall this. I like, I walk from the back of that half circle. They don't see me coming. I had the phone in my hand. And 50 could see me coming. I bust straight through and hand 50 the phone. Like, hey, my people want to talk to you. That nigga grabbed that phone like it was made out of gold and silver and diamonds. He like, and like got out the little thing, take that pressure off of him. He didn't know who he was talking to. He jumped yeah. on it, woo, woo, woo. And then he hung up. He was like, hey, let me holler at you. We went in the trailer. Like, magic and they all see. We went in the trailer together. It's the first time we had a real deep conversation. I used to always respect this because he was like, just remember this. Whenever I talk to you, if I'm like I'm giving you instructions or directions, Everything I'm saying to you, I'm saying it to me first. So I'm saying it to us. So that's the way he was breaking the ice, like, you know, let me be able to lace you. But we had a long conversation. And then he was told me that day, he was like, look, this is a gang's LA out there, whole LA. Everybody yeah. with a label, rap, yeah. all that was there. He was like, yeah. look, I'm going to leave out here. And he said, until I leave here today, I ain't going to talk to nobody else about no, it's on. Woo -woo -woo. And I remember, we was in there like an hour and a half. Cause we walked in the trailer, Magic and his crew were still standing right there. But because he told me what he told me, he made sure he walked to where the couldn't get his attention again. He got with his crew, woo woo, and then we went on about what we did. But yeah, I just like, I can remember that day. That's the day I first met Cub. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 nigga. That's what I'm like, nigga. Because people feel like uh, that he only brought you around because he was beefing with gay. Right, back well, up like, that's like, like to he needed help. Because we not, yeah, well, like, 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 nigga don't know that you wrapped yourself in, and nigga don't know that you, you know what I mean? And when he asked, I mean, he was interested, where you from? I'm like, L.A., Compton. He like, nah, what? I'm like, I'm a crazy. He's like, oh. And that was um, attractive to him because even though they wasn't beefing, him and gang shit was already right. yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. However, it wasn't no, uh, when his shit and game went bad, when I got at 50, he was Asking me not to get in it. Oh uh, yeah. He had, yeah. He was. He didn't want me to get in it because I. I see now. I understand why. Because of the. It was the tree that yeah. he was attached to. Yeah. Snoop, Dre, all that being yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. But he didn't really get the element of we got these tattoos. Yeah. We out here G unit yeah, banging. G unit. Yeah, and come on, man. He G U not. Had he not probably came with that term and just was dissing niggas by name because he was going yeah. out his way to say, fuck fifty, fuck you, fuck you. Was about to look my homie. I yeah, rolled out yeah, the blue yeah, carpet yeah, when he yeah, wanted to yeah, come yeah, through. Yeah. I probably could accept that, but he yeah. G U notting, and I got my G homies just getting G unit tests without even asking me. Yeah. They just popping up with him. Uh -huh. And then I got a 
click or what we call G Unit Crips. Crips. A nigga yeah, from yeah, Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that yeah. just lets you know yeah. how big G Unit was in the mid two in the early two thousands, bro. Bro, bro. Because you gotta shit. realize, bro, uh, these is Crips, bro. 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 These is Crips who is who, who is loyal to some shit that's been going on for generations, bro. You don't know how serious it is for a nigga to get something else but that's tattooed how, but on that's him. That's how, how, right. how serious that's how that shit was. Young right. You feel me? That's why right. Young Dirk them so big because everybody got. Got OTF on them and all that, like, like it's right. a, even though it it means something mm -hmm. that a lot of people could could run by, but like nigga, that's the same like them. But this is like at the beginning. If you could get yeah. a gang member in California to get a tattoo of your record label, what? that's nigga different. Six up without. Without warning, without a, a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, man, that's, that's big. Different, bro. But niggas I was telling people, how like, niggas 50, love they hoods. Like to get 50, another one on you nigga, is crazy. I might mm. throw that. That's respect. Get Rich was that the first one, Get Rich to Die Troy? Uh, yeah. I might throw that shit on nigga walking to school getting on the bus, man. Oh, look, they better Yo, stay out my gonna, way. Yeah, your attitude gonna change. They just gotta stay out my way for the real shit. I had the whole G unit outfit, nigga. The shoes, the shirt. Nigga, <laughs> nigga had a video game. Fuck you mean? Nigga had it all. You know, he younger. I'm 25, so nigga, I was like, nigga, I was like seven, nigga, walking to school with my CD player. Nigga, white beater. Nigga, white beater, nigga, with the white T over it. Yeah, nigga, the G shorts. Right, nigga, that was, nigga, my mama bought me the massacre. Like, nigga, I'm talking about it was nigga G unit was it was so, huge. All nigga. those reasons or the exact reasons why I felt my loyalty was at a higher brand than it was because I never was a fan prior to. I was a friend before I was a fan. Mm. Yeah, and I because you would I met you based on what. The yeah. opportunity you could provide, I yeah. presented my talent, and then you provided opportunity for me. Right, it's, it's mutual. Ever yeah. niggas, I, niggas, I've been with my own yes. life, where nigga have a hundred bricks and won't give a nigga a quarter piece. The, right. the time in public um, perception where I misunderstood him enough to where I would speak derogatory was because he at one point was doing an interview live and spoke about me as if he would be interested in putting my album out if I could put some interesting music out. That yeah. was the phrase. Mm. And his attitude was very condescending and negative toward me, which is a product that he's selling as a businessman. Yeah. He, so imagine being on the block and you got work talking about this boo boo. So just think about how right. dumb that the is. The mindset but, is yeah. putting you. But in. first of all, it didn't think of the personal. So that's what caused it to be something that I couldn't really tolerate eventually in the public without speaking opposite of it. But just think of that. He said, I didn't have no interest in music out is why he couldn't really pull a trigger that he needed to pull for me. Yeah. But I was comfortable standing behind him doing a candy shop. Yeah. Uh, Disco Inferno. Yeah. Uh, amusement. Uh, welcome to amusement. The shit that wasn't interesting. Yeah. yeah. And I stood up there like it was the hardest shit yeah. in the world, though. Come on, man. And at the same time, he made that phrase about the time frame of when Beautiful was created and released. So... It's not much. It's like he, he, he would have put a bag beyond beautiful. That motherfucker would have been everywhere. And you know, we yeah, know man. that. And guess what? The confirmation was that we couldn't even put Crayola. You know, Crayola got a whole beautiful campaign that they launched a few years ago. Where you know that big bossy crayons with mm -hmm. the sixty some minutes. Yeah, they got a color called beautiful. They took one of they. You know, those colors mm -hmm. been the same colors for years. Yeah, they took a dandelion yellow out and replaced it with a shade of blue called beautiful. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Do you feel like yeah. in, in hey, this, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. The nigga should have did his TM. You should have trained. No, don't, don't say that. Don't do me like yeah. that. Don't do I Come already on, I already got over should have. Don't do me. Because guess what they did? When they did it, for some reason, they showed that they trademarked the word. I don't know why. I've seen yeah. Crayola has trademarked that word. Yeah. I don't for know. Sure, because you and know why. <laughs> you know why. Come on, good. But just think of this 50, right? 50 cent. Well, at that time, beautiful. Dodgers is blue. The uh, blue man group. Come on. If he would have serviced the record appropriately through the channels that he had, a recent, the Dodgers would still be playing that record. Do you Come feel on, like man. 50 was trying to stop you because he and one another repeated the game? Well, that would be a suspicion to, real quick. to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the outside world would probably look like, all right, you got another L.A. artist. You know what I'm saying? He from Compton. He on that gangbang shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in his head, motherfuckers is thinking like, ah, maybe if I put this bag behind him, I'm going to create another monster like the game, and I'm scared. Do you I, feel I, like that? I don't nah. feel like that. Because you like, showing I a different like, kind of loyalty, yeah. but in but his I, head, he not seeing that. You know what else, you know else too? I've I, I shared this before that people don't realize it's some situations that took place that because cuz ain't really talked to me, 
I, I got a lot of suspicions. Right. I, I got a homie, I won't even specify, that went to jail in 05. And in the paperwork, just trying to provide an alibi, mentioned G on it a lot to try mm-hmm. to account for why what I'm doing is not illegal. I, I got I got positive things going on in my life. Go look. On, whoa, 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 whoa. And I, the person that went to jail in 05 is still not home. Mm. They bail went from, after they started making those claims, they bail went from 100000 to $10.5 million. Jesus. I cannot believe for the life of me that they never got at, oh boy, about it to no degree. All this right. is before the vitamin water deal. Chris Lottie was still alive. So just my intelligent mind, to me, believes that mm, that had a whole money. lot to f- make him fall back off the situation, even though he never articulated that. When I Remember when the, um, Dr. Dre got rushed at the awards? Mm-hmm. That whole melee, right? That big old melee. That happened. You talking when niggas was throwing chairs? They was throwing chairs, and then the nigga, the nigga got stabbed up. That rushed Dr. Dre. Okay, okay, okay. So it was a whole big mob of people that day. And the next time we uh, Fifty Cent them came to L.A., they showed me a big ass picture of that melee in the awards, and they was like, they pointed out one nigga. He was circled. They was like, y'all know him? It was the homie from Great. I'm like, yeah. They like tell him don't come around because the police is asking about him. Some shit totally separate. That's mm. what I'm saying though. Like, nigga, I feel like nigga like. Maybe, bro, is like, you feel me, with the G and the Crip Talk shit. Talk to the mic a little. I feel sound like, like, you know like your mean? daddy now. Yeah, I mean, maybe with the G and the sound Crip like shit. Sound like your daddy. You feel me? Nah, just on some real nah, shit. Nah, I feel you, you feel me though. on the hood because, nigga, he ain't knowing, you feel me, that, all right, he fucking with you, you feel me? But a nigga really out here, bro, in these streets, bro. A nigga gang banging and all that, bro. So you got... This other nigga, you got game, bro. He Pick up the G, you and the Crips, call the cops. You got yeah. G or not, you feel me? Not knowing that, all right. Spider Loke, he he with 50, and he loyal to this shit. So now when a nigga hear a nigga dissing this shit, you feel me? And you got these other Crip niggas that's really out here. Niggas is loyal to that shit. Nigga, it's going to be some it's it's gonna gonna be, be some, some problems. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. you saw, yeah. Yeah. You saw on point. You saw on point that at one point. no problem that big. And, and I, bro, and, 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 at one point, and, and, 50 told me. He came, I seen him, in a, like, you know, you ain't seen him in a week or two. And the first time I seen him, he was like, you know, he, how we just bumped into each other day, how we greet. The first thing I was mouth was like, yo, B, they, they believe you, B. Talking about the laws in New York with the G, he's like, yo, they believe you that G and Chris shit. Hmm. Yeah. So it was a time where I, we realized that the hip hop police was in New York going to the the mixtape spots, the barbershops, snatching my DVDs out. They was coming in there That's specifically crazy. looking for my DVDs yeah. and taking them all off the shelf. Just think they hip hop gang police was way more alert than yeah. out here was. Yeah, right. for sure. Yeah. Watching 50 move. Yeah. And now they say, oh yeah, LA. It okay. ain't a lot to track he, down. Right, they, they, like they, they thinking, once they thinking this nigga's a fucking mafia mob East boss Coast and he started yeah. a whole Crips and in you know, LA. Yeah. Remember, and do, just the, think, do the homework. The Y'all the first Crip hood. Look at all the, the, the uh, Ricos that came out since then. Yeah. I think God saved me maybe Man, from being the first. It sound like a Rico, nigga. It was coming. That's what that sound like. got Coast Gang members out there. Shout out to the Two threes yeah. on the set. I got home. I ain't even want to put that out there because I'm not even affiliated. I used to gang bang a long, 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 long time ago. Yeah, niggas law by the citizens. Yeah, on my mama, mama. And yeah, I, but I, I, see, I, go ahead. This, this is what people don't, don't, don't understand, right? At the end of the day, the type of loyalty that gang members have. When we lock in with people from out of town, they ain't never had that never loyalty for nobody else. They never had to have a nigga back for senseless shootings and all that. Like, we just walking down the street. We got to be on deck on every car, nigga. Any car can hop out, boss out. And this nigga I've been with, nigga, for three days. Nigga, the last time I didn't see what happened, he got cracking last time. You, got, you know how it goes. But, well, you, uh, that might be true in general about the town, but the way I got No, we- I'm talking about in our in our areas. You said I, I said, tell well, how we grow right? up, they don't, they don't get that loyalty <laughs> because our gang loyalty, we loyal to a nigga that look, we know don't love us. Look at the okie doke. I come on the, I come on the, I come on the scene. I mean, but look, huh? I come on the scene. Remember, look who we talking about though. But look, he was mad at game because this thing game a nigga from the streets, Compton, nowhere, don't know nothing. He's a rapper now. He telling him you ain't supposed to be cool with JD Kiss or nobody like that because right. I'm not. So, so it's like nigga, you expecting you to have that loyalty for me, so nigga, it's supposed to go vice versa. So yeah. why you saying they typically don't? This the okie doke I feel no, for. No, this the in, that's industry loyalty. But, but they see that street shit coming on, they like this. But but remember, you think think about the guy yeah. you're talking right. about. Right, that was it doing all kind industry. of crazy street shit. It was he. Nigga he, had all kind of bullshit yeah. attached you to said, him. Yeah. What I'm saying, it'd be different. You shouldn't be scared of nothing that come with no, Spider no, Low because you 50 no, and you got crazy no, shit no, going no, on. No, I think he was just. You know what he just told me? The first that first conversation you asked me, we had. I learned this phrase through cuz, the bigger the risk, the bigger reward. I never had knew that phrase. Facts. And he told me he was on board with me knowing 
the I, risk. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. so, and this too, nigga. This is what I was trying to point out on Crip. The nigga, all he was talking about was game lack of loyalty. Hmm. Remember, by my time of coming on, that was his only issue: a lack of loyalty, industry loyalty. But listen, listen. Let me break down the industry. Go ahead. We, industry we, we, loyalty. We, go ahead. We, we done been through. Mm -hmm. I done been through that. It's like mm -hmm. nigga of six o. They only gonna be loyal to a motherfucker. They want you to be loyal where it's in their favor. Right. But this nigga uh, come out here, nigga, and go fuck with, if the money right, he ain't go fuck mm -hmm. with, let, not, not like just tell that. you, it, it, try it, to it start was about the bag. All three of you niggas, ain't none of y'all told me my show was full of ashes. Y'all like, shit, go ahead. I see. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where was I going with this? So basically. Loyalty industry versus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, when it goes, like, all right, he wants you not to fuck with these certain people, right? But he'd come out here and go fuck with a nigga from Swans if the money was right to go do something. You know what I'm saying? And he don't understand that the streets it's are serious. different. But so that, 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 ain't how, that ain't how he presented he himself, no, though. No, no, no. This he presented talk. himself like this he understood. Talk. This okay, is talk. go ahead. No go ahead. disrespect to 50. This is talk because this is an industry talk. You get what I'm Correct. saying? Now, what he see, he said, right, he said, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. So if he seen that it was an indictment, he shouldn't have backed up off of you. That's what I'm saying. that's what a nigga said. That's what you signed so up this for. This street loyalty, this gangbang tactic start coming out of the gang indictments, and you're hearing about this gang shit that goes on in L.A., now it's like, hold on. Nigga, nah, nigga, you do the risk when you signed but, up and for And you telling nigga. me not to fuck with energy niggas who could possibly help my career, nigga, so you supposed to be all in with whatever coming to, with it. And me. whatever come with it. And and the, the actual energy around every day is he ain't the 50 on the interview. Right. The only rule is don't fight each other. That's the only rule. It's just like, I don't give a fuck if I hear about y'all went wherever it tore it up, as long as y'all wasn't fighting each other. Oh, yeah. So, and everything else you know that come with that mentality right. it's was up. discussed. Like, we, oh, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. I mean, it's crib. Crib. I, it hit yeah. different when it's the Crips, yeah. homie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't never lie. It's different. You ain't never lie. You ain't never lie. So, and, and that's what I was saying. The industry loyalty is one thing they talking about. This shit, to, the shit that the public can see, y'all fucking with this person while I'm not fucking with this person. This, you That's rare out here. This is all for, for look, we got to stay down, nigga, win, lose, or draw, right or wrong, nigga, with, 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 with the right homies. Right. I mean, with the, with, with our homies, nigga, period. Right. Nigga, nigga right. that we know we don't fuck with, nigga. If we, nigga, nigga don't fuck with cousin in the hood, nigga, we at the skate Still, ring. Can't nobody yet. Ain't cracking, nigga, on six, so we can't let nothing happen to cousin. Exactly. Cut. You get what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. It, 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 it just be shit Crash like that. Up. Like, cause we, we own that, so can't nothing happen to nobody around us because once we lock in, oh, it's so like you Oh, so you saying, like, hood. he expected me to be able to sit out even though the nigga was dissing G Unit, they he didn't understand it's impossible for me not to say nothing. He didn't get that. He didn't get that. Mm. He don't get that. He it's don't impossible. get that. Y'all just y'all dinner from the same backyard that. too. Like, that's why y'all from the same that's backyard. What, but that's why it fucked me up when Snoop Dogg was like, yeah, Spider Wooty Wooty Whoop. And he ended it with G Unit can't say you cuz. Hmm. I was thinking, cool. All I gotta do is talk to Big G Unit. And when Cuz then like, he basically let Snoop tell him, you can't say cuz. And when you tell me Spider G, you can't say you because you're not talking to me. Right. Snoop said that. Snoop, I mean, who said Snoop that? Dog. I got I to get my yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they know, <laughs> they know what it is. Yeah, 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 50 asked me to stay out. Maybe Snoop told him I need to stay out. I don't know. Yeah. But I got in it. And Snoop took it upon himself to make it public that game was his homeboy. I ain't never sold no records. I need to be cool with everybody. He got everything on the West. Everything go through him. It's just like that. G Unit can't say you could. Mm. So. That was the black ball. Who is you talking to? That, but look, uh, but remember, yeah. there you go again, though. You was right in the beginning. Industry versus what we yeah, know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was right. Yeah, he yeah. was right. Yeah, G, G, we'll block you out. Sure, the we'll fuck will. G unit out. didn't even try yeah. to save you. It's not about yeah, can't. Yeah. He, right. he should have said they ain't gonna yeah. save you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he he because he could have, nigga. A, what? He, you, he could have put nigga. That was the biggest that? rapper in the world yeah. at that point. You nigga. being a loke? You crazy? You being a loke and being a loke? He should have pulled up on you like, check it out, nephew. Woo, 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 woo. Eastside Crip. I made sure. That's the crazy part. I made sure we already had that moment. 
Yeah. I made sure that we had that moment because what I did to him that was disrespectful, I did it when I was hanging with Shug. Yeah. When I got affiliated with 50, my own uh, mind told me, based on everything, DPG unit, all that, it, it's on me. I need to approach Snoop and try to, like, you know, because there's no telling what type of, you know, I owe that to myself in the situation. Yeah. So what had happened was, it was at one time, shout out to Solo from me, Lev Mate. Uh, he happened to be one of one I know brother too though. But yeah. Solo, you know, him and Cam used to be like this. Yeah. So uh Solo called me one day and was like, uh, why you ain't coming, why you ain't come to the West Coast uh, peace conference shit? I'm like, what? He like, yeah, I'm just leaving up here at the uh, Universal uh Hilton. He's nigga, everybody up here cut, ain't nobody told you. Crazy. I'm signing G Unit though. So he like, ain't nobody told you? I'm like, nah. He like, yeah, so whatever. It had already been going on that long, I go up there. So it's footage online of this where you'll see me pop up at this little Look like a conference game on stage, talking with a microphone. What niggas didn't know is, and you see when I get in the door, it's an old nigga, like they eat from Long Beach or something, like call itself like regulating, asking me questions before I get in the door. So I go in the door. I didn't know the door I was coming in was coming from the stage. It was a whole, I could see everybody, all the rappers that's there. Yeah. When I walk in, I'm looking at them, the audience, but the stage is right here. That nigga yeah. Del Dog, rest in peace, was on the mic at the time. Oh, I had such an awkward feeling coming through the back, not knowing I seen Del Dog on the mic. I just went and stood right next to Cuz. Why he looked, because he was on one too, like barking his bark. And the next thing you know, he looked up, I'm standing right next to him. I'm like, what up, Cuz? Yeah, because I'm awkward in here too right now. I wasn't invited, yeah. didn't know what, yeah. but now well, I'm standing next to Cuz. Yeah. Shout out to Dad's the homie Cub, but East Side Crip. Cuz, yeah, call yeah. my eyes. What? Look, Cuz, call my eyes and pssst, we're right up on the stage with Snoop and the security. Yeah. I ain't no hating, but you know you did, Cuz. On my mama, I still love though. But anyway, he's saying, it's just me, mm. my cameraman, though. But anyway, I'm standing next to Dad. So, I mean, I stand next to um, uh, Dell Dog. He do his little shit. When he passed the mic, now, they talking from up there, so now I'm turned around watching. So that's when you see the nigga game trying to talk, and I'm just up there giving him move, and he finally like, look, by the local, ooh, ooh. So uh, how did we get to this uh, meeting? Oh, I get Snoop, he up there. So yeah. I'm like, I, so I approach Cub. I'm like, hey, check it out, Cub. My name's Spider from 97th Street. G unit, woo, woo. I used to fuck with Chuck. Yeah. Man, I did this on the song, woo, woo, woo. I'm not proud of it, man. I knew better, I should have knew better. I just yeah. wanna get at you like a man, cuz, and whoop, whoop, whoop. For real nigga yeah. shit. That yeah. real nigga shit, all I can yeah. offer. I can't offer nothing else. Yeah. So cuz was like, cuz, I already did a song for you with 50 Cent, cuz, it's all good, just keep it crippin', cuz, I'm not tripping. From that point, we had, I mean, we was direct, personal phone calls. Some came from him, some came from me. Met him, bumped into him a few times, just like red carpets here and there. Been in the studio with him, everything was cool. Until I engaged with game. And cuz like he wasn't feeling that. So did the G Unit Crip song come out first or did you say something first and then he he did the G Unit it go to G Unit Crip, go to Cup. Oh a game, um no, I think I can't, you know, it's such a blur back then. Now I can't quite say what came first. I just know I was surprised that I twice talked to Snoop. And you know the, the Long Beach ain't got nothing to do with the roller coaster car. But just to be cause they rolling. Yeah. He Every time we talk, you already know it's rolling coaster. That's yeah. how we was like yeah. casual as fuck. Yeah. I just knew we had got way beyond that. And um, he was doing an interview one day, and they was asking him about that actual conference. He was, they was asking him, how do you think the um, West Coast has been doing since you had that peace conference? And the way it seemed like, it seemed like they had talked about this question before he asked it and the way he set it up. Because as soon as he was like, or Snoop was like, yeah, everything been going good. He was like, well, Spider Look was there. And he like, man, fuck that nigga and that bullshit. Mm. Already told that nigga, game my homeboy. That's how he started his shit. And he, that's when he started talking about, you need to be cool with everybody and all that. So I got I got the shit in my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm crap. Uh, sick son. That nigga said, for, I, damn. After a nigga been hollering and all that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after like we've been so said, well, that so well cordial and shit, it, it, and nigga want to put that whole, for the TV whole this face time, for the yeah, internet that, and shit. But oh, see, right. that, that's kind of like that Rick Rock out. shit. Check him out. That's who kid answers the question. Hmm. I said, you know what, homie, you ain't got to do all that. I already did a song. 
song for you with 50 Cent. 50 asked me to do a song for you. What kind of nigga I am? Because 50 fuck with you. I love you. Don't care what you said about my little brother. want to knock your motherfucking wig off. You didn't even know. But because 50 fuck with you, I love you. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like because of your boss, I have respect. It's protocol. I'm not a disrespectful gangster. I respect your boss. I could have knocked your wig off and told your boss I did that for you, homie. Uh, he talking crazy. See, he said like that's what ended up happening. Whatever, however, I ever been bad news. You ask Fifty right the other day, he say the spider had a record, it would have worked out. That's his story. Mm. So how I ended up back? See how I told y'all it's other something to it because right. some it's some conversations going on. He like, you know what I'm saying. So that's what it was. But it's another clip that that, that where he get to going. I'm saying I ain't did nothing to him since he just said I came to him at the peace conference. Mm. I ain't did nothing to him since then. He tripped on me behind the gang shit. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it at hood. Cause through the years, I've attempted multiple times to try to keep mediating that just based on. Yeah. And cause I don't reciprocate or, you know, so it's whatever. It just is shit. what it is. Yeah, cause, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, nigga, nigga Real. still building a, 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 a platform for itself. So. Off of that, what 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 made you? Cause I I, I know that you know what I'm saying you was going viral before it was viral. But what made you step into this YouTube space? Um, it was a number of things. One in particular, just getting back to being public. I had to like a seven year hiatus. I have uh, three sons that are two of them are the age of fifteen. They're not twins, and I got one that's seventeen. And when they was born and young, I kind of stepped away from the whole spotted low gangster gang shit. Just based on. I was now, you know, had the responsibility of setting an example for young boys. Ain't like my shit was booming out the roof anyway. It was like, it's kind of over with, kind of like, so I kind of so left. So I got to go be a dad. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then and you after real about, family oriented. Yes, sir. Yeah. After about seven years of that and still like, can't never scratch this itch. You know, you got a passion. It's never going to go away. It's never going to go away. And my boys being old enough to where I seen, I got some pretty good boys and they started liking, they knew what rap was and all that. I asked their permission to go to work and pretend to be a gangster on. I say, is it okay? I said, okay, y'all goofy daddy. I say, but I know how to do that real good. Yeah. He's like, yeah, go ahead. I said, I don't care what y'all see me do. I'm just trying to get this money. He was like, go ahead. So I kind of like started dipping my feet back in, trying to, you know, get back, see yeah. the new shit, what it is, rapping, politicking. Nip embraced me. We got to working together good. But yeah, in the process yeah. of this, me hollering at a few people. Rest in peace to my brother. And they uh, would nip uh, the crib uh, on set. So, um, my nigga Crash, Big Trap, from Trap LA, he was the main thing. He was like, man, just start going live. No matter what you're doing, wherever you at, go live. And that's a good way to just start getting your face seen. And so it's like way back in like. Oh, shit. It's like, <laughs> yeah, don't tell on yourself. Damn. It's, it's way back like 2016 I'm that. or mm -hmm. something of that nature. Crazy. Blur that shit. So I was, uh, uh -huh. My main thing I used to do back then, I used to head coach, coach my boys in football. So I used to always go live from uh, practice. And then what started happening was, I used to have like 13 people in my life. Yeah. 30 at the most, maybe yeah. nine, maybe 12. Yeah. But that one of the people asked me a uh, industry related question mm -hmm. and I'm just answering it, not thinking nothing. I'm talking to three people. But then I start realizing the next day somebody else would grab it, make a that title. Clip yeah. yeah. Right. And so, doing what you could be doing. Exactly. And shout out to my boy Ryan, because he don't really do his shit no more. But y'all remember this title, Hip Hop Classics Daily. He was one of the main sites that kept taking my shit. He started getting in my DM and telling me to like, whoop, 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 whoop. And so therefore, that's when I started doing it on a regular basis. And then it just started taking it more serious. And But that's how I started doing what you what we consider podcasting or blogging or whatever we yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So in that space, I'm going to get straight to it. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Nigga, who's your biggest op and who you fuck with the most on that internet, man? Who, who is it just fuck you, <laughs> nigga? Nah, 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 fuck say, you, all right, we've talking about good all shit. Right. It's time yeah, to get yeah, messy, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the biggest, biggest op would be whack, hold no, honey. Uh, three finger, <laughs> three finger, three finger whack. Oh, all right. Madam Mika's uh, last uh, victory. This nigga got twelve nicknames. The man, we that. we know was in touch with his G spot more than anyone else we aware of. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the only reason I say that because he's not really an op. 
You know, yeah, I say nah, that word nah, just because nah, you nah, use. Nah, it's a YouTube adversary, yeah. It's a YouTube Or someone on the opposite the, side yeah, yeah, of yeah. Uh, what I agree with. Yeah. I chose to um, have to separate myself from being someone that would be considered friendly toward him is because he told an untruth upon my name. Mm. And he put me at an incident that I was not present at. And not only has he placed me at the incident, he's fabricated a whole conversation that he had with me that never took place. And at yeah. that incident was Prodigy, rest in peace, Suge Knight, Game, and other 40 Glock, other people that can prove that I wasn't there. Yeah. And instead of him being a man, when I first got him about it, and saying, damn, Spotty, you sure you wasn't there? I thought you was there. Why well, I keep thinking you was there? Maybe I I'm thinking of another day. Another nigga. Another yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ruling all that out. And putting me there and having a conversation with me that anybody that knows me knows nobody could have had with me. So I tried to get at him behind the scenes and get him to correct it. He refused. So I, since he lied on me, I chose to start being honest about him because as long as he's been gaining popularity and I've been aware of him, I've been aware of a bunch of goofy, buster, weenie, weird shit he's doing. But it ain't my job to be the weenie exposer. That's not what I'm around here doing. Everything make the hood go around. Busters, weenies, the hardenies. You need everybody to play their part. Right. Especially in the industry, it belongs to the weenies, the busters, the bitches, maybe even the rainbow. We know that. Yeah. Fat Joe Ben told yeah. us what kind of mob run hip-hop. Mm -hmm. So oh, man. a nigga That's like a Wack ain't no uh, problem to me. He could be... He can be tough. I can rap about him. Wack my nigga. He from two P's. It makes sense while I'm politicking and painting a picture. Yeah. However, now when you start lying on me... I'm gonna do you a favor and start telling the truth on you. So I started just being honest about what I really knew about him. You 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 know what I feel like uh sometimes because Wacko for Westside don't really show his face and then Wack is so when they hear these whack stories and Wacko, I feel mm -hmm. like that the world is putting like some Wacko story recognition to, to no Wack's doubt. name. There is no you, doubt. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, and I and, and and I've been cool on Wack lately. I ain't been I ain't finished it. You know what I mean? Right. That today, nigga, uh, no, I ain't, mean? I'm just you asked me that no, question. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't no, brought no, him I'm up. I'm saying I'm not being messy. No, I, I I'm being messy, but I ain't <laughs> being messy to where it's like I'm just getting in the middle of it. Man, it's it's fact, fact, man, it's like, facts right, we bring it up, but I'm not throwing myself in right now. It's over the way anybody feel about it, man. Talk to your yeah, nah, for sure. So, nah, I just where, where was I at before I said that? Oh yeah, I was saying the the, the the wacko shit. I was just saying to state my opinion. Like I feel like wacko and whack they they like you hear some stories and you think it's the same person. That's so, so true. Yeah. I thought it was the same person no, until I met wacko. That's such a yeah. fact. That has mm -hmm. to be such a fact that the, when I met wacko and was like. I don't know if I didn't put the O on it hard enough. Oh, he always does that. Or if he I did that to me, or if day. I didn't pronounce it, he got it straight. straight. I'm straight. wacko, not yeah, wack. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, like, he did that to me the other day. Because I called him wack. Because I thought that's what his homie I think short, I might have too when I first yeah, met him. Because I'm thinking that's what his homie probably called him for sure or something. Me nigga. too. Just because that's how I do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, get this shit out of my hands. Yeah, Drop the clip. Drop the clip. Ain't like, oh, I didn't drop shit. But on the set, that motherfucker, I can tell it's been glued back together, y'all. I, yeah. I ain't yeah. never you really dropped no clip, but. You ain't break it. Uh, I knew it. Yeah. I, yeah. I ain't never yeah. dropped no clip. Yeah. No, I ain't no. never did one of them. No. No. That ain't no, no. no my yeah. resume. <laughs> on the set. But yeah. uh, that would be the what people would consider the biggest op, and that's why. Not that I felt like I want to just expose negative things I knew about Wack. When he lied about me, I realized that I've been lying about him the whole time, meaning I've been talking about him as if he was honorable. Yeah. And he took a favor of lie and didn't six, appreciate yeah. it. And he flipped it and lied on me to take honor away. Yeah. Because I don't know anything about whack. When I was speaking of him highly in public, that was just general, you don't dirty Mac. You ain't no hater. Yeah. So I'm speaking, you you come yeah, around with yeah. me with Pooh Rod and Suge Knight, and that's the circle we in. So I got respect and honor. However, yeah. I have never seen him do anything to earn any respect. And we spent quite a bit of time around one another. Mm. And you've never done nothing but be nice, happy, and uh, helpful and assistive to everybody around. That's the guy I know. So we know what these do. Yeah. They create a sense of courage and that a lot of people would never have. Yeah. And he is pretty good at utilizing it to portray that. And he's been pretty successful at it. So upon this internet, he would be considered the biggest op. And then what was the other half of the question? Who is your Who is your favorite guy on that motherfucker, man? Like, like, oh, when you when you see him load up, you gotta tap in and you fuck with him. Mm -mm -mm. 
Hey, I'm so weird, cuz I ain't gonna lie, cuz my my for my own personal entertainment, my favorite person is Nick at night. Okay. She a chocolate female. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, she's so sexy. At least you didn't say no grown ass man. Yeah. I respect nah, it. Nah. Nah. My favorite I listen to niggas like I listen to niggas for other reasons than just pleasures. Just yeah. learn something. Usually the title direct my interest. Right. Not people, nigga. I don't really sit around and listen to. I don't have like a character I'm tapped into. I listen to a little bit of all of us. Mm-hmm. Every, I know all y'all, everybody that do it, I'm tapped in to yeah. a certain degree. Yeah. But as far as me watching out of pleasure, it's Nick at night. Yeah. Good. Thank you for that question. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> what up, man? Yeah, yeah you already man. know, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I don't want to get no misconception. Like I got a uh, connection with her that I don't. If I can, ain't trying to hate on her game or nothing. But you know, I like you, boo. That's right. Mm-hmm. He's like, let me go ahead and shoot my shot I, while I'm here, uh, baby. You see me? Uh, Stop playing. Going into, uh, so it been a series of events. Uh, they brought the nigga up here too, Captain Rigger. I said he was cool because I thought he was going. I thought he was. I thought man, he was going to post the apology. I, I could have. My had bad, cuz. Huh? I didn't mean to put you under that nah, false nah, pretense. Nah, but nah, you, nah, I yeah, showed you screenshot. That, that, that's the, nah, yeah. We, oh, we, well, I told, yeah, uh, yeah, we talked. You know, you my you you, you my one love. of my 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 looks that oh, I that oh. I definitely can fight in. So oh, basically, uh. Rick Rock, man, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker uh, go online talking about he go DP me. He, he, was, he was under the knowledge that I stamped this uh, right. gay crib, right. gay hoover, whatever right. you want to call him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Tony Wilrich, right? right? So uh, I waited. I gave it enough time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you called me. What, what, I, I called you that morning. Oh, you did? I'm like, well, I'm like what's up? I'm like, me. that's your boy. You say, you, you say you cool with Rick Rock, right? I'm like, oh, hood. I say, if you asked me that two weeks ago, I couldn't say yeah. Mm. I say, but me and Cuz just recently became cool, so yeah, we cool. What I say? You said slide me a number, Cuz. No, you said tell Cuz hit me. Yeah, tell Cuz hit me. You I said, said I could always start him out. I ain't even finna hop on the you, internet. You didn't even. I knew it was something, but you didn't even yeah. say none of that. Oh yeah. Why don't you just say that could have Cuz hit me? But I yeah. knew what was going on. Yeah. So what I did was, I text Cuz your number and was like, the homie say holler at him. He was like, as soon as I leave this dentist crib, this is like yep. in the 11 a.m. hour. I got yeah. still on my phone. I, yeah. So you hit me like at 11.04, my phone to show like at 11.07, I hit him. Yeah. And then it it showed me. I text him. I got a, I got a FaceTime call from you at 11.04 type shit. And then yeah. at 11.07, you can see I text him. Yeah. He responded like 11.11 11, that he yeah. going to hit you as soon as he got out the dentist. Yeah. So I don't know what happened between 11 something and 4 p.m., but he called me at 4 p.m. I guess before he called you. And we got well, on the before, phone. After, yeah, we talked around that time. Yeah, I he, feel like, he, yeah. we got on the phone and he was like telling me, which I didn't ask him about nothing y'all had going on. He caught me up to speed as to what took place and I gave him my thoughts. I said, because I seen the videos. I feel where you coming from about you didn't like them sit down with dude and I ain't got no problem with that. I said, but if you asking me, because he called me and discussed this with me. I would have yeah. never invited myself to speak on yeah. this subject matter. But since he introduced me into the conversation, I'm going to give you my opinion. Yeah, my opinion. I say, cuz, you went a little too far telling niggas, uh, if they homies don't DPM, you going to do it, and they need to take Crip off their name. I say, cuz, that was extra out, bro. I'm like, cuz, but I feel you. I wouldn't have did the interview myself. But I'm not going to say that that got anything to do with they Cripping. He was like, you know what? That's a good, that's good. He was like, because when we first got cool, he introduced this term, alley you. He said he had yeah. this whole perspective. This ain't personal. K Style, shout out to K Style from 7th Street. K Style taught me this shit ain't personal, man. This nigga just throwing alley oops. Yeah. So he like, that's the perfect alley oop, Sparty. You go on your platform and say that, and that'll lead me to alley oop. I could come in and give a public apology. Yeah. So that's why you get the text from me like, yeah. you ain't got to say nothing. You're going to get the public apology. Exactly. However, when I actually went on my platform to speak on it, I didn't just repeat exactly what I said to Rick Rock. I said what I said to Rick Rock, but it's been a couple of days now. Yeah. I've had more thoughts on the subject matter. Yeah. I also mentioned some notorious, reputable, or a notorious, reputable homie of his that's rest in peace that was known to be but a B-Nandy. Crazy. Crazy B-Nandy. Yeah. Ain't no secret, mm. wasn't no lie, nothing. Yeah. I, I'm not saying, I'm not smutting him, I'm saying we all yeah. respect him. Yeah. So if we respect him and we're not taking Crip off his name, because you can't... I included that in the conversation as to why you out of line for yeah. speaking on some. Yeah. And I guess that offended Cuz to the point where he just flipped it and went with the shit you see. Yeah. With the antics. So I heard recently 
on the internet, I heard Geechee Gotti saying that they don't do no apologies. I feel you, cuz, on the set. Geechee, my nigga. And I understand how he with his homie and riding and politicking and yeah, making Geechee a statement. stay out of that. But on the set, though, cuz, the only reason what apology came up is because Rick Rock offered one behind the scenes, Crip, on my mama, mama, dead uh, homies, dead daughters, homies. lokes, everything I love and live for. I wouldn't even been in cuz business because, to be honest with you, Rick Rock got in my business years ago that was none of his over another nigga. BG yeah. Knockout. Yeah. He did some weird goofy shit versus text messages. So I didn't, have, I didn't give a fuck about Cuz. But when I seen Cuz pop up recently on the internet, the way he was, I fuck with Crips. He yeah. on the internet, yeah. the shit was old. He was carrying himself with a posture and a demeanor of intelligence that I didn't even realize he had. So yeah. I made it my business to tap in with Cuz online and let him know you ain't asked for it, but I forgive you. For the bush shit. Yeah. And I saluted what he had going on. And we embarked. I told him, I say, bro, we even discussed doing some collabs. So yeah, that's, that's what we did me. when we was on the phone. That's too. a lot of grown man shit, though. Because if a nigga ain't called, even reach out no olive branch yeah. and then you give one. I gave yeah. one. For some shit you didn't yeah. even do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. some grown man but shit, see, bro. He called. So I, I talked to him, right? Mm -hmm. And it went. Nigga, I'm like on the dead homies. I'm like, I don't believe that that you you see on the internet, cause on the dead homies, a nigga really gonna you like 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 gotta see about a nigga when you really holla holla about a nigga, cause you talking DP. I ain't never been DP'd in my life, nigga. On the dead homies, like, 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 like first and foremost, like, that, 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 you talking crazy, cause I'm you so talking so crazy. Mm. You talk about nigga on six zero, and I said, nigga, never will I compromise, nigga, nigga, all the shit that I did. Nigga put in place for nigga, nigga this shit alone, nigga over nigga vouching for a, something that we don't agree with. I right. don't even have to go into depth about what right. it is. How, you do, get what how I'm did saying? he receive your? And, and I told him, I'm like nigga, when the interview come out, you get what I'm saying? You gonna see? We I let him he he ha ha, and then I told him, like nigga, that's out. Right, right, like, right. Like on the day, even I'm, when I talked to Rick, he told me like, if they told Cuz, I think he said on that video, if they didn't tell him, he ain't no crip then they need to be dp when i talked to him on the phone i said Cause i seen your video i said cuz told him he ain't no crip i said i heard what you said but he told him yeah. he was like oh okay i said he yeah. told him it was like a yeah. understanding cuz got offended i believe with the situation based on like i said About I his homie. Yeah. yeah and then so now he he backtracking the whole energy yeah on crip. you get what i'm saying yeah. so that's why i said nigga. and now you see ever since i put that emotion and said, nigga, I can't decide if it feels up to me, you wouldn't be one, but you got to go to the Hoovers because that ain't my business and they got to decide it. And you're he on TV work. at work and there's a whole that was my point. other shit <laughs> at play. Come that was on, my point, bro. bro. At the end of the I'm nigga, saying? I realized this is, a, this is a nigga job, bro. Exactly. If a nigga not compromising himself and his morals, dude, what the fuck you want? <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? He not outside hanging out in the corner with this nigga? Yeah, you not nigga, bringing that nigga to your studio what session, to your hood? He not from... from from a Texas right. 6 but This is did, something completely did, separate. This is it. And you just up here doing content to the world. How, nigga, uh, opposing sides can't sit down in front of cameras. Don't they do that on Jubilee? Nigga, where they go get a, sure, uh, a KKK platform. dude and they go get a, a, a Afrocentric ass it, motherfucker it, that, and let them sit down and have, that a, what really led and to have the, a conversation. Uh, demise of the, of the last family of us that was here that you was with because he entertained someone that was yeah. considered racist. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that I, you know what? Did I can't that. hate on them for standing on that if that's what they stood on. However. But that's not, it's just. Wait, but however, Cuz has not that blatantly displayed that if you want to call that racist that he's that type of guy long ago right in front of these niggas faces before mm. so i don't know if they just was not getting it going over their head remember i brought it up yeah you brought it up in there i wish we, we still we had did, we had to sit down cause. with adam because and i think that's why i'm not here right now adam Chris. adam was adam i know you ducked me homie bro. <laughs> i know yeah, you yeah, ducked yeah, me bro we, we go have you i'm gonna I'm take we all that player intelligent like cool yeah, 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 i know yeah. i shouldn't have brought that shit yeah, up last because time we we this is what happened the audio on the last uh Interview. We just had that to has happened before. The ago. The audio I ain't gonna lie. Got I've heard that one before. How long ago has it happened? It that's got, happened before. How long ago? It it within this year, up. for sure. That's, so that, that's happened this year. Watch this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's watch happened this year. Watch how he's trying to look out for Adam and look I, what happened. I, I, and I'm just saying no, that, that has happened. Look, you, you fucked up already. Because <laughs> guess what Adam say? It hasn't happened in years. Mm, Maybe bad. not on his shit. Okay. They not on his shit. But look, look. To say the the bitch who did it or. Or the motherfucker who did it don't work here no more. Mm. Yeah. Since that day? 
Nah, no, nah. this is your day. Nah, nah, yeah, since the day. last time the audio didn't happen, well, see, don't work no, here. You know no what? More. Only reason I you believe, what you know, oh, I, yeah, I, okay. I, yeah, I believe it might be true. The only reason because as soon as he, we was in the DM when he told me that was the fact. My first response was, "Damn, what I say wrong?" And then what I say, did I say something wrong? He like, no, and he had the screenshot yeah. immediately yeah. of the ten yeah. people. Yeah, it wasn't no two minutes. It yeah, wasn't no three it was, minutes. he said that he me the message yeah, that they I mean, sent him. Like, oh yeah. no, the audio. Yeah. That's why I believe it. And then yeah. he's been. Um, I felt like we might have got a little bit too messy too. Even even a certain uh, conversation when I was like, oh, yeah. it was meant to happen. Yeah. When yeah. Cuz sat down, the know. homie, that wasn't no good. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, a few yeah, things. It was a few things. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It we got happen. it in the bank. Yeah. It was a player conversation. Yeah. We got it in the bank. Yeah. I think it should just been edited. No, no, you know what? No, I think. That was, remember the questions I was asking Adam before we started recording? Yeah, yeah. I think that was just for that. Yeah. And this is for this, because Adam isn't a, a controversial uh, personality. I thank him for providing this platform for us to politic on. You think Wack got up on him? Perhaps have. He perhaps you think Wack got I, up I, on I, his chest like, nigga? I don't, know, I don't know. I think it was trucks. more like a please. Got up, got, up got, up got up on his Crocs. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't think it, I don't think it was like a nigga. It was more like a... It was more like that Cause Adam As much as we know He fuck with Wack And Wack Is in his shit Adam is not no dummy Yeah nah I'm just popping it You know I'm just I'm pretty sure You know but no That's part of the suspicion I was But you know you open up the door For uh For three finger Wack To get up and say Whatever you want to say Well I wouldn't give a fuck But I don't know Question ran across my mind That that might have something to do But I really In the long run When it's all said done I believe cut That the audio is no good But you just went through the whole thought process yeah. and then just think about this. Yeah. This is me thinking. But anybody that knew I went, that asked me how it went, did I say that to? Everybody don't. Nobody else believes it. Oh, it's everybody. It's everybody out there. Uh, <laughs> they don't even know how the conversation went. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah, still yeah, don't believe yeah, it. You yeah, feel yeah. me? So how yeah. hey, you 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 set up your YouTube shit? Yep. I mean, you gotta you gotta get Go ahead, more interactive with your with, with your people. Shout out your YouTube and man, your Instagram. Mbm dot, dot June, man, that's what it is, man. Follow me on Instagram. June man, like you, the month. You spell yeah, like June exactly. like the month. Exactly. Exactly. Know, let know. Let know. Mbm dot June, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. You already know that's your that's your Instagram and YouTube. Yep. For sure. Yeah, yeah, man. You get up on me. Yeah, make sure y'all yeah, tap, yeah, tap in. Tap in, We about to get to you right now, too. We, we about to get the rest of this internet there shit out, go. nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, we uh, go. Well, where I was headed next? I was headed somewhere. Oh, but anyway, yeah, with Rick Rock, cuz on the hood, nigga. Uh, Geechee, stay out of that, cuz. Because the nigga, the nigga, because I don't want to get into it with you, cuz. I don't mind, though. I on the right. dead umbies. Like and, 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 and I ain't uh, no friendly ass nigga. Ends don't need no friends. I don't <laughs> so. he, but I tried to be friendly with Rick Rock, cuz he a crip. Yeah. And then, however, look, this type of pass I give Rip Rock, Rick Rock character on his crip. And a lot of people not aware. I've seen with my own eyes on IG where Rick Rock dropped his blue rag in the trash can and said he was through it cripping. Mm. I'm not no nigga that's jumping up and trying to I hold him accountable. I, you ain't even got it. But I'm not. It, I'm but not I even heard trying to do the grapevine that cousin wrote it up off yards and all that. Cause like, we, all right, look, we, look, nah, look, nah, look, listen, I wasn't gonna listen, bring it up. Easy crip. Listen, no, but no, I'm just I'm not affiliate. I'm gonna just shut up and watch. I never, I never, I never heard you say that. I never knew. I'm gonna just say this. You know where I'm from, right? So, if I'm on the internet and a nigga from L.A., Compton, Long, anything, have a back and forth with me or disagreement, if you've been to prison... And you know how the E.C.'s is, nigga. Every you yard. You already know what... Everybody you knows... Know without saying, you so know So, you know, saying. if a nigga been on one of these yards and he don't like me and his performance on that yard wasn't up to par, you know I'm going to get the calls. Period. I'm just saying, and I ain't trying to smug because I heard a whole lot about his... Activity and time on the yard too, though. So I ain't jump on the internet like I got niggas that want to come on my live and be like, "Cause I'm on the yard, cause I know. they got a lot to say, cuz." But I'm like, I'm not even here for that. that that's crazy, cause yeah, I, I heard said the, I heard through the grapevine that he did this, the Duke Luke shit. Like, like don't start doing that, bro, because. If you got a fucked up picture, like, like this my low, cuz my longest stretch being in jail, cuz was in there damn near at the same time fighting uh -huh. the indictment, cuz on the dead um, yeah, we, we was we was fighting our cases for like four years. He might have fought it longer than me. You in that there, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you know what I love right now, cuz the whole internet, that's been your story since your introduction to this new career. And then people like nobody else can really like you bumped into C Mac, so that's somebody. Yeah. And then I ain't never knew you knew cuz. I yeah. came here today, y'all, under a text message told me I'm allowed to bring two people. Y'all can't see how many is off screen. Yeah. But 
I didn't not let nobody know I was bringing no talent, no guests, no personality. So I'm sneaking, sliding the personality in, <laughs> really yeah. trying to give my homie a yeah, shot that, that I don't think yeah. that people is really want yeah. ready for. And yeah. when I get here, he bump into his homie, his friend, on, which I make it that, natural. Nigga, nigga, and so now like, your yeah. testimony, the four years you talk about. And now you got an eyewitness right. yeah, online like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, and, this, and, and this, the nigga not gonna lie to you. Cause cause gonna like, you like, can't. Because as soon as so this that, camera go off and a nigga see this nigga call nigga you, be like, why you lying? Because nigga, nigga I was there in. too. On set. <laughs> like I said, any any floor that I done went to, like, 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 I ain't even gonna talk too much about it because I don't like giving myself flowers. You get what That's I'm saying? But it be a lot you. of niggas that just be talking and it just be talk. This is why I don't. That's respond. why my conversation is so turned nigga down. That jelly with me. Come on, man. On 6 so wherever I was at. Nigga um, trooping, man. Nigga gonna go crazy, if, man. If it, if it wasn't my dorm, it, I had the, the big influence on that Come motherfucker, on, bro. You know what's going on. Nigga wasn't on no there? rap time, nigga. I wasn't shutting down the show at nighttime, even telling y'all I was talented at rapping. Uh, nigga, I think so. A nigga, a nigga mind state strictly gangbanging, bro. Nigga up against nigga, nigga. Cause you nigga, ugly as fuck, cuz. Yeah, I can see you in jail good. stressing out 30 man, years nigga, for. Uh, and no, and yeah, again. you ain't got the. Yeah, I can stressing none. Nigga chilling. Stressing. Nigga fighting glowing. Glowing. Get the way. Like got four, five bitches, man. You know what I said? Nigga, big trash bags full of this shit, man. 195 on Come on, man. Nigga, big trash bags of this shit. That whole thing. Man, come on, nigga. Come on, man. I'm We walking in a holding tank, man. They like, man, these niggas hella good. Gang yeah, deep. yeah, we yeah, in here, yeah, yeah. Night You know what I said? It had like the 17s, 18s. It wasn't nothing. No, we been here to talk about. We been. Yeah, I, said, I yeah, see that big old hoodie. Yeah. I, you act like you on your way back. Yeah, I keep yeah, looking. Yeah, trying yeah, to hide yeah, something yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the nigga got out, the nigga yeah, was yunky. The nigga yeah, was big. Yeah, yeah, it was working out. <laughs> Check my YouTube earlier, man. You see how this shit, man. This yeah, shit, I let a nigga. He didn't deflate it a little bit. It's coming back. <laughs> Nigga, I, uh, on the hood, when I came home, wasn't there. Nigga talk about no phase or nothing. Nah, don't, don't do that. Don't no, do no, that, no, bro. No, 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 it's becoming a wave. It's becoming a brand. It might get bigger, I see. Would you entertain some of this celebrity boxing? Uh, yeah. How about you? It, it, it's the money, right? And I don't want it to be somebody I really, really don't like. Marcos, you know what I'm saying? Marcos, yeah, no, 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 take yeah, notes, Marcos. Doing, Marcos, take note, Marcos. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing not, it with a nigga I really don't Marcos like. Marcos is my business partner like, who's not you know black, what I'm saying? who yeah. tends to think that we need to rely on actual negativity nah. in order to create nah. some interest around these bouts. Nah. Me I don't want to fight you in the ring if I really don't like you. Throw me in the ring, bro. Throw me in the ring, bro. Money bag rose and flame don't got no beef. Exactly. Oh, 600 in cartoon. No beef. No beef. No this shit the see, business. They don't want is. us to get involved with the business right. side of things, bro. They want right. us to keep it. They want us they to want it to be beef. Other, beef. Bro. They want us to be beef they they don't want it. it don't got to be. too much emotion. But it, Thank it, you. But That's what I'm it, saying. I don't want to fight a nigga I really don't, don't like. Because look, the businessmen are utilizing trained fighters that want to match skills to make money. Yeah. The beef is dumb motherfuckers getting in there having an exchange of emotion that could bleed over to some big old exactly. bullshit. But listen yeah. to this, bleed though. over to some but bullshit. But listen to this. Uh, for putting the guns down and all that, and if it's an internet beef, like a Charleston White no, or as a, a fucking whatever, as a marketing, that's, that's, no. that's a cool squabble. But right. any as street, a marketing some real shit yeah. that's happening in the street, Hey, we fight no this street it. shit in the ring. Mm -mm. Come on, man. You know we supposed to get that for free, we, nigga, and get it out we live. Yeah, because <laughs> when it comes to beef, real beef, nigga don't take no L's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if on, if we took L's, we wouldn't use weapons. Come on, bro. Like, yeah, 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 yeah like, everything like, would be like, fair yeah, shot. Yeah, Whoever yeah, wins, best man. I know like that. I mean, niggas eat raw beef, you got to cook, cook. Nigga take an L's, Chill, cook. Chill, cook. <laughs> Dead oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, basically, nigga, I just was was addressing it as that because it's just like and my and my boy here, cause like it, we gonna get into him right now. Uh, he 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 was waiting to pick you apart once he found your story, man. It's a great <laughs> yeah, get, and too, so, can you can, so. can y'all do me this? I need him back, man. With, with, with yeah, or without yeah, me, we, we put with or without me. Talking about wrapping up. 
All right, Smile, say boy. less. All right, yeah, no, 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 yeah, it's good. We go. Hey, as y'all get on here, let me do this. Lawana, man, you know, hip hop turn, hip hop turn fifty says, years. Yeah, come on, and my sister, man, viral man, day, day. That's, that's a viral day, yeah, day for our community, man, for real. Come on, yeah, man, that's, that's a viral year for our community. All right, seventy three, the year my pops was born. We 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 need like ten minutes. Listen, we 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 will be good though. Uh, Money check back it out. June. Check it out. Before we go into that, C Mac just had a fight. With who? Smart decision, bad decision. The Bonnie yeah, Hunter. Yeah, uh, I love you, C Mac. I love Daisy you, Crip Mac. I love Daisy you. Daisy I love Daisy you. Daisy. I love you. I love you. Not the smartest decision. Mm-mm. Did he take down his value in celebrity boxing by you going a cold to step nigga, out there? Man, you a cold <laughs> nigga, man. You a cold nigga, Nightbud. I won't say value, but I think. One. If if there's a, a if it goes up down it might have went a little uh, this way we want it was unnecessary I think he could have left that alone only because if you want to put on gloves you should have the patience to set it up like mm-hmm. we discussed and mm-hmm. get your money out of it right? yeah what y'all build it up off real jail argument politics yeah you really don't handle those type of situations yeah. like that and you yeah. got a random nigga clown yeah. but yeah. but let me do yeah. this I gotta do this for the homies I always jump on the cross for him he got so much on the line. I don't want to see him trying to crash out to prove. But he, he, he did that through family. He did that through so family. So because, and, uh, because and we want to see be him, nothing like because that. we want to see him go to his potential, it was the perfect move. Now I think about it, it was perfect because the whole world knows about it. If we judge it from that real grimy criteria, we could say it wasn't right. But guess what? It's still gonna prove the positive point that they trying to prove. Okay, right. and you keep can- covering my question. Though. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to shout the homie out see Mac, but yeah. The footwork. I wouldn't have done it. Stop dancing too. around. He need this help. Shit, he need, nigga. No, he, he, need, he need help with the performance. The the way, it don't look good. See Mac, go get you a fucking jump rope because yeah. I'm about to jump he rope with stiff. you because you, your Neighbor. feet are going to get you in trouble because on 6 so You mm-hmm. got it if you can get the feet together. You don't got to stand like a loke while you fighting because that shit you got to get your you know what happens yeah, the big niggas though? Cut, cut, you know what happens the big cut. niggas, bro? Niggas don't be wanting to fight them so much a lot of times. They, they grow have, up not having no fights, bro. They don't no have fights, to have a squabble because yeah, yeah. they're just big. Yeah, yeah. So that, that yeah, win C-Mac, all the fights. C-Mac they don't not being scared to. to fight. And the game bang story is, oh, he being Rat Pack. He being DP. He being put on and DP. Yeah. So he ain't really got to develop a good one-on-one wobble. All right. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like you should have saved that for the ring because it's like it's like this, bro. Because you get paid now, for that. No, now it's gonna be a gang of little niggas trying to make a mockery. It already because, happened because the little nigga you went in there, you ain't not cuz out. Cause Cause look, immediately. Your footwork Shout out to Project Bo. I got Dom who's hitting me up tomorrow. I got. A thousand acts all even slim. They trying to line it up now. Exactly. So now, so uh, now the whole thing is this: Would you put your money on Bosco or C Mac? Oh shit! Shout out to Bosco, <laughs> man. I know y'all might be surprised to hear me say that, but uh, me and Bosco, yeah, just, no, we just had him up here. So I, I know, yeah, but we just politicked our player situation, which uh, has yeah. never been. It's, it's brand new. Yeah, uh, hmm. I ain't even know nothing. Oh you yeah, know, yeah. He's a player, though. I bet him at Nip Studio. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in the right. Well, game. we we got a whole history, so I ain't yeah. just from the. Uh, I ain't never even. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. No, nah, no, nah. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, yeah, no. Yeah. We brand new, cool. I ain't no fake nigga. We, I'm not gonna never do nothing. Gonna make him think I'm doing nothing like that. We other than we agree. Yeah. Yeah, he coming to Factual Feelings Tuesday. So, yeah, no, we, we, uh, if, but I'm just saying, box, this is the thing. Neither one of them are boxers. So I think still the weight and the energy is still going to be in C-Mac's favor. Because yeah. neither one of them are boxers. So even if Bosco sit there and try to sit behind his set the way he's supposed to, the unorthodox energy that C-Mac is going to bring is not. Bring you out of your, yeah. out of your little formation. Bo- you yeah, Bosco not a boxer on. enough where he's going to know how to go low. Mm-hmm. Jet, uh, yeah. body, 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 and get out the so way of that you shit. you saying Bosco yeah. don't got no squabble like the I, little nigga that I know what I'm saying he's not a boxer. Squabbling nah, and boxing I, is two I'm different things. Hey, he don't got the little nigga that was at the park. Oh, yeah. He, no, Bosco I can't. Bosco don't got it like look, that. Look, man, I can't even judge that little nigga either. Oh, at the park? What park? That, that C-Mac, C-Mac just squabble. With the gloves? Yeah. Bro, you know what they look like to each other? But that nigga After you was holding all, his own, though. He was holding it down. Because we because we know the whole. Because we was holding it down. But. He didn't. He didn't do nothing. He looked crazy. Do as fuck crazy. To me. So how you? Crazy. Crazy. So, so you think? So you think Bosco is better than Cuz? That's, 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 that's a hell of a bump. No, that's I'm asking person. you. I'm I don't know how to judge because every time I seen Bosco in the ring, the only time I seen him really kind of show some was him and Gonzo. Yeah. And then you know that they just kind of tried, and then when him and the homie got in there, it wasn't much activity. So I don't know. And then I see his. He wasn't like nervous or scared. So money going on the homie. I ain't betting. 
<laughs> I ain't betting. I ain't betting. But, that's but two questions. Two questions. Two fifty fifty. Because look, look, C Mac gonna be so anxious, so eager. We see he might swing and drop himself. That's uh, what I'm saying. Nigga might swing too hard. Yes. That's what I'm saying. But <laughs> just think, if one of them motherfuckers <laughs> land right, Bosco like, might go out. That if they land oh right. Uh, no, you didn't see. He just did, he just did it. Uh, no, 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 he just did it. He did it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, you got to get the footwork together. If he he got to dedicate himself to the gym for a couple months. He got to dedicate himself to the gym for a couple months. Let me tell you something. People put them old Englishes down. People try to clown me sometimes for trying to say I use too many big words and all that. That's what I was taught. Anything you do, you do it to the best of your ability. Facts. Including public speaking. So anytime I'm going to speak it in the public, regardless who don't like it, I'm going to speak to the best of my ability. Exactly. Whether it's perfect, nobody's perfect. Of course, for we sure. all make mistakes. So, C Mac, if you're going to be out here fighting publicly, you will do yourself it look a great. service to get it together before you keep presenting yourself over and over again. Yeah, nigga ain't trying to get in the ring and be looking stupid. Exactly. That's, why, you, that's, why, oh, that's why I be that's telling niggas. That's why your loke ain't never been yeah, in there. Right. I don't box. Yeah, I never have boxed. That's why I be telling niggas I have, uh, I gotta sit down for some months and actually you go. dedicate myself yeah. to training because I'm not about go. to go outside yeah, and embarrass yeah, no, myself. I'm so have you been in the ring? Or you just you just, you trusting your regular shits or you been in the ring? I'm trusting my regular shit. Ain't but if, you, took, if you, you decide to get in there. Man, I can train. Yeah. And I work out yeah. on regular I see you work shit. out. I work out Salute. on regular. I salute, I salute yeah. a nigga that get out and stick up, to his program. Got an upper hand than a regular nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so, working out. You fresh so out. You know what I'm saying? Speaking on box, what's your rap name? June? NBM June. NBM June. Yeah, All right, yeah, man. Money back mob, man. You know what's going on. So look, man. All right. You was in jail, man. And, um... It was a series of events that led you to be with. Um, you don't have to talk too much about your case, but every y'all go look up the money bag and diamond one of the historic crews in Mita. the city, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the real, yeah, it was real, man. Mm -hmm. It was real. Yeah, it's it's over with now, I'm a young so nigga, and I always heard about the little you feel me clicks over there. Check me out. Since we're gonna do that real quick, sure, I gotta say sure. I'm Cub, big homie, right? His daddy, my big homie, but I'm yeah. Cub, big homie. Yeah. As a young nigga, Cub out here fresh, like when them new, new little business first came out. Yeah, Cub one of the first young niggas I seen. I ain't know how, where, when he. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah, sect I like. Doing, on the man, they going to do it. Fly Crippin since yeah, day one. Man. On the dead on homies. Dead so homies, nigga, out it, here. It, it led you, like, we was down and all that, but then, nigga, I met a, uh, a older dude, right, that had came into my dorm. Fresh and guy. he was he was light-skinned cat, you know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. It's Shay, what up, OG, what they call you? I'm big, wooty woo. I ain't going to say it because you, you ain't said your name right here, so I ain't going to be the first one to say it. Like, wooty woo woo, I'm looking for my son. Like, you looking for your son? I'm like, who your son? He like, yeah, tiny or yeah. I'm like, yeah, woo woo. I'm like, oh, um. <laughs> That's my low, cuz I'm hood. Hood. like hood, cut hood. down the way. I'm gonna make sure I get it together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you was in jail with your dad, man. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. Hell oh, yeah. Man, that's that's crazy. How that feel, bro? When you go up in a cell, you know what I'm saying? And then like you, you see your pops in that motherfucker, like damn, man, nigga, that like shit, a, that shit was crazy. Bro. And when was the last time you seen him before you ran into him in the cell? Like how long? Probably it was probably like. Year some change, mm. you feel me? How long you was? Oh, you was on. You wasn't on the money bag. Yeah, right? you was on with D Rock. No, I was on the money bag uh, indictment. Okay, so how mm. long was you fight yours for? I fought it for three years. Oh, so you had seen them in the county before yeah. that too? No, but look, I had went when I had went down on some other shit before the money bag indictment. Yeah. I was already already yeah. had an eleven mm. year bid. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, you had went to yeah. the pen. You already yeah, was in the yeah, pen. Yeah. Yeah. So when I went to the pen, that's when I seen pops. He had some little bullshit, little yeah. gun case. So we oh, ended up landing like that. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, and I was in the yeah, cell with yeah, him. That yeah. shit, that shit tricked me out. How bro. long y'all was? How long y'all was? Uh, what we in the same cell together? Probably like four months. I spooked. It was cool. <laughs> that shit was crazy though. <laughs> the arguments was like, man, man, it was funny as hell. Wrestling, you gotta stay. You know, you know that's pops. His man. old ass would have watched what he wanted to watch. Guess what? Guess the part. Guess the part. Pops don't like about it. Right. He want to know about why you and my mama didn't last all the way like that. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a, oh, just think about that. Yeah, right. you, 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 you still my right. daddy. Right. You still my right. daddy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's hard to me though. Go ahead. But I think I think I think that that right there was like a wake up call for bro you feel me because mm. he was like damn I'm in the cell with my son mm. you know I, mean? I landed this nigga here yeah, this is my like, fault type shit mm. fuck it's a movie it's right. a I, movie I, I, I failed myself at the and end and then they brought the me they end up pulling up on the uh, money bag and like, bring me back down for that yeah. you know what I mean 
And so that's now that was an ad charge. That's when I, I, seen see. they, I seen him again. I'm yeah, like, you seen nigga. it with me that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. like, damn, nigga. That shit crazy. So, so, so. For those that don't know, the reason why they talking around a certain name, I'm just say this. And this is just an insider insider. If you're from 97 East Coast. You know the June, man. You know what it it's is. It's well known that you're from J-Box Crip. Yeah. <laughs> That's like. Come on. Kind of like. Come like, on, man. I don't know if his daddy was the very first one. Yeah. But he was one of the originals. And for my whole time, everybody know he like the most legendary. Stop doing that. It's just going to. Uh... It get pick up he the most legendary two hours. nonsense. Yeah, I've just okay. been listening the whole time. Yeah, yeah. You should have been your bad. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if it was. Yeah. See, he was the same. 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 I didn't see the ashes. I didn't see the ashes. I didn't see the ashes. But I was so hard to squeak it. I didn't see the ashes. I heard the squeaking. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, just you affect. If you know, you know. Yeah. Kind of politicking and just. Yeah. I don't know if I can't say for sure. I'm not that much of a historian if he's the first, but he is the most original brand name, reputable homie that we got, his daddy. Mm -hmm. So daddy if it's just in some time, if you were not saying it's conversations where it's been said and understood, you from J Box Crip. I'm gonna just say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and, and whether and, you like and it or not. J Box. But, but <laughs> at the end of the day, right? You know what I'm saying? When when I ran into him, he's still in tune, and he like like yeah, he sure. he into the casket drop type nigga. Like you get what I'm saying? Like 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 at the end of the day, he, a real he still homie. was standing on morals. He wasn't letting nothing going on, and like it it it, it was a certain situation, and we all got to go all the way into it because no, I, I got love shit. for I the nigga. But shit. it was at a certain time to where he got into it with one of his. His close people, you know what I'm saying, up under his joint, you know what I'm saying, family tree, same family tree, well, didn't even get into it. Because he owned come it. back, it, it, that he had did some lightweight buster shit. Like, mm. You get what I'm saying? I know him. Oh, yeah, you know. He mm -hmm. on a family tree. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Know. But they family, family go, they family no, bigger than the set, though. But go ahead. Listen. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I don't want All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come so, on, man. Oh, that tree. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. You know, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So, boom. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Yeah, so he do some, like, like, wait, but he like a, so at the end of the Taco day, Bell. nigga, we at the end of, mm -hmm. yeah, I was thinking so. And the, nigga, we, nigga, he, he ain't spare none. He like, man, do you, you know what I'm saying? I got to Oh, he got you action? I, I, we had to. No, 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 no. He no, said he, say no, that he no. did some bullshit. You know, no, we just look, nigga, look. Look. And, and, and that's when I knew I'm like, this nigga like a general because he not letting us not stand on. No, I think it wasn't even because. It wasn't because. Right it there. was the other nigga. You, ever, you don't know what that's saying. Yeah, man, I see you what it's saying. Your say. name was more? Yeah. It was the say. other old nigga. Yeah. yeah, we got the pop. I, yeah. I take that back. My bad. My bad, Taco Bell. Cause. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 me and Taco Bell went crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Taco oh, Bell went crazy. He coming home too. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 the old slick nigga, man. The old oh, slick. That's what yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all y'all niggas at home, these niggas is just talking in real codes, and you just not gonna know. Y'all ain't gonna know. Y'all don't know what nigga talking about. Nigga talking about go. This some real L.A. politic gang shit, and if you if you have no clue what's going on, I'm just gonna be y'all interpreter. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, just all codes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that all codes, nigga. But yeah, no, nah, I just talk too much. You want to show your face one time? Yeah. I knew, I knew, your I knew your dad was, I knew your dad was somebody then just by how he carried himself, man. And it's just crazy that, that the cycle sends us through these series of events where we end up running into our, our, our offsprings and like, yo, you run into your father in jail, bro. And, we got to break that. So you coming home rapping and leaving that other shit alone, like yeah. whatever I can do, whatever platform, whatever it is, because it ain't no way possible that you going to be sitting somewhere with your junior, bro. We got to stop that all. right there, man. Facts, nigga, got to break sure. the cycle. For sure. Yeah, free the money bag, man. Free D-Rock, nigga. Man, free D-Rock, uh, man. Know, free free Bug, Rodney, man, nigga. for all, all them them niggas, man. You we know. all them niggas, man. We all them niggas, man. Ah, you was on that diamond with Rozzy and them. Yeah, man, we was all in there thugging, bro. We all in there thugging, bro. That's why you had to tell all them niggas, man. All them niggas. Nigga was hearing about y'all since I was a kid, nigga. Yeah, man. Rock star, man. He really, he really, he really Really got something to say, and the fact that he rapping lyrical and not about he, he he really gonna have something to say coming out. You know what I mean? And tap in, man. You know what I'm saying? What 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 else have you been thinking about like getting into since you've been home? Like 
all right, you see the rap shit is going on, but it's what like other business, Jurassic business plans you're it's, thinking of? Yeah. Oh man, with the trucking. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with that trucking, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, because that's good money. That's yeah. a fact for sure. But see, yeah. the rap scene is drastically like changing. Like it's changing. If you're not in their face every day, they don't know you. Like, yeah. and they don't care. For Me sure. and Sus being here, like, is a blessing that they see our face every day, no for matter sure. what. Yeah. And, and it's like free promo rap. for a nigga career you weekly that, 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 that even, you can't buy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's hard yeah, to super, replace. Yeah, for real, yeah, Larry you thing. Get what I'm saying? So, like, what type of space? Do you want it? All right, the, the business aspect is, is is trucking, but like, what do you want to do with your career? What do you see yourself doing with this rap career? Like, what's the how end far you plan on taking that shit? Man, I'm taking it to all the way to where I can, bro. You feel me? Cause I got I got the talent. That's a fact. You know what I mean, I got plenty of sh shit written down, man. That's ready to go. You feel me? I got gas. You feel me? And here, when you got a name, that shit puts you halfway there. Yeah. When you a LA nigga and you actually like from you, you're somebody where you from, you halfway there. You yeah. have for that because niggas is gonna back whatever you do. For sure, Your whole for sure, area, they're gonna back whatever you but do. It's he, like we know him, we know he not capping, we're here. You wanna be a Yo Gotti or a Birdman, or would you just rather have a rap career or be a Jim Jones or a, uh, yeah, I mean, just like you already know, man. Rap, nigga like, like, ball like, status or like, just good rapper? Like, 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 yeah, ball status, do, do you wanna bro. rap it out or do you wanna bring people in on? What you got going on, and I'm always, I'm always it, bring people in on what a nigga doing. You feel me? I'm always look out for those that you know. What I mean, I, once I see some talent, man, bring your ass over here. Yeah, and well, this is what we doing, man. It's NBM. We got money bag entertainment going on. You feel me? Me and my niggas. You know what I mean? We got my boy NBM Baller. He rapping. You feel me? We out here. Free so you know, free my niggas. You feel me? My go my boy Infant Shice. You feel me? We, we we all rapping. Yeah. So 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 like all right, boom. You 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 bringing people in, whatever the case is, like right. As you grow, what what? Who? What am I trying to say? Who who are you looking up to at, in the rap game right now? Who is your influences? Man, I always man, you know my favorite rapper always been Guwap man, Gucci, Gucci man. I always like Gucci man. But you like his business too? Yeah. You said you do. My bad. Yeah. I like Guwap, man. That's my boy, man. But uh, Guwap found a lot of talent. God damn. Nigga screenshot and shit. Nigga five <laughs> just called that one time, bro. <laughs> you got your shit yeah, moving right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me, I, I fuck with Guwap, but his business as of late, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really looked at. As, it seemed uh, like he signed niggas who cracking. He not. Yeah, but every only thing with Guwap, every nigga he signed, bro, them niggas go down or get yeah, killed. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like he got a that's curse, bro. It's because you. he signed niggas it, who just super street niggas and be like rap. Like the Guwap that niggas went who not you, mentally bro. there. Oh yeah, it, 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 sis, what's your name, baby? Everybody know me as Courtney. Everybody know me as Courtney Slaughter. Y'all will be seeing a whole lot more of me here. Mm -hmm. Courtney Slaughter. Uh -huh. Courtney Slaughter. Uh -huh. yeah. The East Side's daughter, baby. Right. East Side, East Side, yeah. man. Yeah. You already know. That's my homegirl. Go find the movie Parole. Matter of fact, I got a film I started in called Parole alongside Master P about 15 years ago, and uh, it's about to be re-released. On streaming because only on DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she in the movie with me though, cause yeah, it's yeah, my homegirl. Yeah, she got that bush in there. On yeah, crib. This how she got in the movie too though. Cause I was shooting the movie right. They like, we need a uh, female that's willing to show her titties. Yeah. Cause in the movie the script was you gotta show yeah. your titties. Cause yeah. I was fresh out the pen and she supposed to be like I'm supposed to be cheating yeah. on my baby mama cause she don't yeah. wanna give me no pussy cause I she wanna make sure I'm on the right path. Yeah. And she supposed to lit across the street from me. Yeah. Get her nigga in love. Yeah. So, they was like, so I called him like, I need somebody to show you. Till we show the TV movie, she's like, hell yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But on crib though, on crib, just keep it hood though. When we get to the set, she's such a respectful person. Not, nobody had the courage to yeah. ask her to show her titties. So we yeah. shot the whole movie without her showing her titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was that, ready, yeah, go up, but, but it just it's didn't. Like, nigga, you on ass, I ain't doing it. So it just did like the bed yeah, scene with the sheet. And, yeah, like, you and feel she me? still got But she exposure. in the movie, though, on the set. That's my little homegirl. And she got a platform that she trying to develop, too. What is it? It's 
Hotels is the podcast. Yeah. So she her first interest was to tap in with the Figueroa culture uh, and yeah. kind of like exploit that because we know you know I want to do that shit too. She needed Bro, she needed I, I, she needed I like she need like a co- yeah there we go I fuck there with we, you. we politicking uh, there from time right. to time I'm gonna fuck with you because I oh, want to do mom, that mom. I want to do the the, the, the female game bang oh, stories. Too, I, I did. These oh, she got them. A whole lot about this shit. That's a good one. They show the fuck do. You can get some more low cases. I did the first I did the first episode of Hotels as a matter of fact. them too. Yeah. Said, plenty of them. Yeah, come on. Cold grills. Hey, y'all line up. Yeah, y'all line up. Y'all, y'all, y'all get ready. Line, y'all, y'all hear what's going on right now. You already know. Y'all there's a whole lot of just... knockums out here that Thank just you. ain't been in jail. Oh, my yeah. Yeah. Free the up, girl. I was nigga. talking to Top Dog last night via text. And just based on the fact, I sent you some Blue Smurf music. And, you know, my relationship with Top Dog starts back before his relationship with J-Rock or yeah. K-Dot. Yeah. However, as... He been climbing to success. I haven't utilized that to reach out on no business, basically at yeah. all. So just recently, I'm tapping in, yeah. letting him get familiar with Blue Smurf, and his reaction yeah. is like, "Man, dope, dope, dope." But these chicks is what's happening. Yeah. So I got another you artist that's a female. Yeah, the females. Nooney Green. Uh, shout out to Nooney Green from Long Beach. So I would just pass some material from his way, but he was just saying, making the same point. Like, it's a shift in the interest yeah. when it comes to, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, females Every run day. rap right sure. now. But listen. Hell yeah. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Well, well, I was back on Gucci. What do you think of, about, oh, go ahead. No, no, go I was back, back on Gucci. We gonna get to, I, I just said something about that on the news not too long ago, but, all right, Gucci business, before he went to jail, he was finding rappers, and he wasn't signing and locking them all the way in, gang. Yeah. You know what I mean? As a business, like me looking at somebody about mm. their business, like Gucci, one of my favorite rappers, he know that I was, we NPA was signed to Gucci. I lived with Gucci for four, five months straight. Sometimes when you meet people, you know what I'm saying, they turn it, but I, I still fuck with Gucci to this day. On everything. You know what I'm saying, but uh, some shit went on. Yeah, it, it, me and Gucci still straight, but you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't tax a couple of niggas around him that, you know what I mean, he, if they had to choose Super me man, or him, he had to I hear you, no, I no. hear you. Yeah, yeah, you know hear you. But, uh, I don't know if the audience the follow, day, we yeah, follow. Yeah, 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 we know. follow, yeah, you feel so, me? So, uh, basically, I was just saying from a business aspect, I would not, be like Gucci because I haven't seen him really push and put his all in it. No artist. Mm. Uh, Thug is a good sure. business aspect. Thug is a good business We bought, I bought Ooh. Thug. Didn't he, yeah. didn't he do enough? I, 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 I bought, bought Thug. I'm not yeah. talking about. I don't uh, know. Uh, what uh, Waka Flocka do? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Then Gucci get him all. He get out with his nigga. Oh, you mean it's helping your nigga? Yeah, I'm talking about how Thug do what helping his niggas. Thug get every nigga who sound like him nigga and give him some money. Come on, man. Why why hate on him and say like Draco took that advice too he to went and got rim but whatever happened after that but like nigga he learned late like, like you, he learned late but yeah, he figured it out yeah, he in jail or something if you said Rimble? If, yeah no if yeah, a nigga sound like dropped. you uh, and he hard embrace it cause you know you started the sound he just wanna uh, be like that's you, a part you know? of his role out that uh, that but, free rim bullshit that's just a yeah, part of the mixtape yeah. that ain't finna drop so, type shit so it, it was all uh, basically like that's why I say Yo Gotti, Birdman, QCP, all these Them people niggas. that are running successful labels. Yo Gotti, 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 just off your influence, the young hot rappers around just having a stamp from June sure. is gonna, is gonna, mm. it, it, they love to do that. Yeah, you get especially what I'm on the east side, bro. So, so, sure. so it's like when you grab that talent, just always know that treat the people up under you right. And just and you being a rapper is not a competition to them. If they yeah. can out rap you, like how Gunna started, kind of. Doing better than they still push it, still love it, still oh, do that, that nigga, and make sure everything and you know how, is right. And look, if you get there, you're not gonna always, always be the star, way. If you bro, get, to, be, if you get to the table next. first as an artist, that is a very difficult thing to do, homie. It's difficult. It's so difficult. It's difficult. When it comes like, to music, shout out New Jack, it goes way before rap. Artist, guys, it's considered. They, it's a. It's a word for it. They call it the Luciferian complex. And the whole story in the Bible, the whole controversy of the evil comes from supposedly Lucifer being the Biggest angel in heaven. Musician. And biggest blessing was He was music. a musician. Yeah. You know how you got alto, soprano, yeah, the story yeah, told. So, we yeah. could sing. All that used to come out of one voice. Like it's yeah. five people singing. Yeah. And he thought so highly of himself because of that. And Jesus, who was God, didn't even, he didn't even have that. Yeah. I gave you that. 
Yeah. You start feeling like you the shit because I gave you that. I'm, I ain't take it for myself. Yeah. So through the years of society and living and people, music, that element continues sure to does. show itself over. For sure. Oh, I went through yeah. it personally on a real yeah. deep level. Sure yeah. do. And because mama, like, mama, if mama. you sign, it's like, like, because it's like a curse to kind of sign to an artist because like, it's like. Unless they're really they selfless. Really, unless, yeah. yeah, unless they. Yeah, 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 very few yeah. times you find that until these yeah. new generations, like, it seems like niggas is turning it on. I was signed to a producer. Yeah. Like, I was signed to Metro Movement. I was signed to Mustard. I was signed to somebody like that. It worked out right with the relationship? Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, That's my dog, bro. but nigga, I'm not the type of nigga, bro. I took niggas to New York, and nigga, my play that I was supposed to do in the studio, I'm meeting with a rapper. I'm like, nigga, I don't even want to do the song. You do it. That's, That's what I was with a New York Jack. nigga. Like, this That's my boy. I, this I'm out here to network, and I'm That's like, nigga, get on that Jack. shit. I don't even want to like, do it. Like, 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 just y'all do this song. You like, feel me? All the, I, I'll wait. All the big name songs that I had, uh, like on my little six brick project, like I put New Jack on it with with, with Long Way. I put New Jack on another song. Like I'm gonna put you on the song with these new because mm -hmm. I'm pushing you. I want the world to hear you right. too. It, I didn't like his verse at first. I'm like, bro, you on a song with me and Cuz. We stepping. It's called Do It For Nipsey, Cuz. That yeah, motherfucker, sure. we went mm. crazy on that motherfucker, me and Long Way, right? And I'm like, Cuz, go back in. You gotta go recut that. Like, Cuz, I ain't going for that. Yeah. And he like, bro, you ain't, man, listen to me. You hear the shit we saying, cuz on six. And how did he handle that moment? He, he he didn't take it at first, but now constructive criticism. He he, he reacted to it. He, he realized the he magnitude yeah. of the moment. Because and he got, he with got it. a good voice and he yeah. won't. He sing. passed the test. He, he trying to act too gangster. He got a good voice. I'm like, you got to utilize you, that motherfucker you, like Lil T J. Lil I ain't gonna lie, cuz fuck the the lyrics. God do the harmonizing. the lyrics. Everybody love that shit. That performance and all that shit, nigga. Watch this. That's that's gonna come on, bro. Come That's where you're gonna bro. create your personality. And I and, and I'm telling him he has to step like like you gotta step up. To to how social you know media space what make you really feel comfortable doing somebody. that? You ain't never been a rapper. So yeah. how you feel comfortable changing your voice like that? Because that's know, not bro. that's like, not that's, cool that's, as of the nigga you is. Yeah. So how you know it's cool to do go outside of yourself enough and rap and still be you? Be I'll, you. That's already always been in me, bro. You know, a nigga always been the nigga that Take the crowd, joking, always yeah. got niggas yeah, that's laughing, true. you feel me? You're a fan that's, of music that's, that's, that's me, you feel me? You've been a fan of music yeah, for all the time. Long. So you know all enough of that, that you can, that's on my is mama. needed. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the boy D-Rock did it, bro. My yeah. mama, he, one day we in the cell, bro. Nigga, nigga smoking and shit. He like, man, you know what? On Harlem Crip, your bitch ass probably can rap. I said, what? <laughs> he said, your bitch ass probably can rap. I said, man, hell no. He said, said man, how you, how you be joking on niggas and having about? fast yeah. comebacks and always know how to pop it like how you pop yeah. it? Boom, he said, you probably can rap. you know, you yeah. always Yeah, yeah you always, like, like, always, always a fast energy. capper. Yeah, come so, on, okay. And rest they always peace, had a mouthpiece. Rest in peace, Lynn 400. Yeah. Whole style was that little 7% you put in your shit. That yeah. was his whole flow. Yeah. Sure. That yeah. And then you yeah. got like a, just a, and yeah. it, it creates a E-40 type yeah. without trying to, yeah. Copy E40. Yeah. It's a similar. No I know what I'm slip doing. Slip four hundred. That nigga rest is way peace. more lyrical than Slip four hundred. No. Like, rest in peace. No, I'm not. Boy. No, of course. No, no, no. Slim, this nigga no, Slim four hundred like, wasn't yeah, lyrical yeah, at all. Yeah, but he had that that, that voice. No, yeah. that. You know what I'm talking no, about. Know, about he no, was I doing it on his own ad. He was <laughs> that nigga was rapping his first doing ad libs and the little shit he was doing ab libs and yeah, slip 400 whole up, flow. Yeah. It's an unorthodox flow and you yeah, not in no pocket. You not in no pocket. You deserve it. I, was you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, cuz when I first got it and was listening to it for weeks, I'm like, man, this nigga worked me. This bullshit yeah. he gave me. Yeah. <laughs> but I swear to God, yeah. now I rap the song word for word and I understand it. Yeah. That's how most music is nowadays. Good you music. first hear it. Good music. No, good music. Yes. Facts. Good, good. Or no, first you'd be like, uh, but then you play that motherfucker back. It, it's because shit that's different, it takes time to soak in your brain. You know what I'm saying? If you're not used to hearing some shit, it, it, it takes a little time. What happens also is the power of programming. If you're getting it from the radio, it could really be garbage. Something you really don't like. But because but, it's how it's presented to you. And how many times Not like you a hear plate, it. like food. And how many times you hear it. Because you know how many times I've heard a song the first two or three times, like, man, that's shit weak. You hear it 10 times, now, a few you weeks can't later, you're like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how a lot of music is. Being a lot of listen to Top 40 radio when you're in them areas where yeah, you can't get the top 40. You find out songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be able to listen to all the people. Weird shit. Taylor Swift. Come on, man. We used to be off the Taylor Swift. Yes. And it was that that big reputation. Got the big red. We used to be off that. In my time, it was a. Uh, Alanis Morissette, the bitch who said, catch me sitting by the window. <laughs> yeah. That type of shit. That wasn't that our shit, but up. 
When you hear it so much out there. Then that I left my on. heart yeah. in Havana. Yeah, that's a Columbia girl. He back to East Atlanta. Him and Thug. Yeah. Her and Thug. It's Generation Gap. I'm going to have to go back again uh, and make my name? point. Go ahead. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, she was from Fifth Element. Fifth Element. Because what's her name? Camille Cabela. Camille Cabela. Oh, no, that You don't rap no more? Of course. I just dropped yesterday. Oh, my bad. I just dropped the video yesterday. Okay, that was a good question then. Let him know where it's at. And he so, didn't hurt my unreleased. Yeah, I just heard his unreleased. It's going crazy. And I heard it without him. I can't tell. I can't. He, he can't tell me you that got he it. heard my unreleased. You got some unreleased with some open what? spots? Yeah, man. I, I can always look. make some. I don't. Make some, man. I finish all my songs, bro. Right, I look. never I don't Smurf, make a song and don't Blue, finish it. Blue Smurf, Money Back June. I'm trying to get places, it's many places it's I can, good, man. Bro. It's good. I'm going to get you some fire, too. I know it's too, good. Bro. Shit. I, you I, I got some crazy shit going on. My big save. I feel it. I dropped. Nigga, I actually missed the drop for today, so I dropped tomorrow. And I dropped for the next three weeks, man. I'm dropping Lost in Coachella, man. Tomorrow, Lost in Coachella. All right. uh, six, so then I got the Why Me. The Why Me is the industry. It, it, y'all gonna love that one, man. It's me really just, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Why they try to X me out, nigga? Oh, why why they why they me? To X me you out. You telling yeah, me right now yeah, you got yeah. two projects for the drop? No, I got I got three singles. songs for the cut. I got I could drop project after project. I'm about to get them back ready for the single that yeah. I'm finna just double you got project. A whole on single crazy full in the of, uh, dumb music, man. I got like like like. Like three hundred songs. Gotta go single crazy. Then yeah, just song, I just stopped right. rapping because so, of this gun. It's all you was it collabs and features too. It's me. It's it's all that. But nigga, most of them is me. I was going to the like I got a pub deal with Sony, so I was going to the studio going yeah. crazy. So how I ain't on no nothing. That's what I'm saying. No, I ain't up. been rapping since we've been together. No, 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 since we you got no, three. No, 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 no. I could send you a song. I could do no, that. I'm just saying. I could send you a song for sure. But I ain't been rapping since we've been together. I stepped back. Yeah, I had stepped back. Cause nigga, it, it kind of broke my spirit with with this rap. With, the, with nah, cause Gunner executive produced my album when he went to jail. They didn't want to put it out. See, okay, then, you, you, nigga, and then a when he went to jail on his damn thug shit. Yeah, then, all right. Well, you see, that ain't good then, enough excuse to explain no, for the time frame. No, 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 I'm no, talking what about. I'm trying to tell you is, listen, when he went to jail, he said jail, since yeah, way before that, yeah. Out. No, I, I I wasn't dropping. I was waiting. We was supposed to drop right after he dropped this shit. He went to jail right after he dropped. Then these charges now, the label that was putting up the bag don't want to put up the bag because I did a one deal, one one album deal with these mm. people for for three fifty. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was gonna let a nigga keep the whole bag. So you since you brought Cuz up yeah. and all that, what's your perspective on his situation or his situation? Uh, like I said, uh, if he would have copped the deal with the rest of the people on the case, then it would have been acceptable. But at the end of the day, if you got some niggas that's going to trial saying that they not taking no deal, you if you cop out with a deal saying that this What's is What's worse, true. him just taking a deal or yeah, him yeah, that's like you verbalizing in the process of taking the deal some of those specific things that he agreed to? Well. Because if me and you, as bro, because in you, y'all case, niggas was copping out saying yeah, shit just too. The, you get what I'm saying? Man, that niggas, they, they did, in but our, they didn't. In, in our case, bro, they didn't ask about specific it, people though. Yeah, yeah copping out with a statement is different with copping out and then giving a statement that implicates everybody else too. And Go that's ahead. what I. Yeah, no. In our, in our case, bro, it was only one one nigga. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, yeah, that yeah, one tried to say that. Not and that that just said something. Yeah, besides that, nigga, everybody else could stay shitty. Yeah. Y'all stayed mean? shitty waiting or just took something to deal with deals. But niggas took deals. Niggas but took deals. Implicating but, that but they were a part of the you know I mean? like, That's how it had to go. Nigga, right. we wasn't we getting up out of it. There exactly. was no that's, getting up exactly. out of it. Exactly. But it, 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 was, it was too much, bro. Important. It was too much. Important it was too much on the shit. Important to do what Cuz said. Yeah. It was too much on no, the on a, oh, it was too much on without, a, on, without what he said, paper, yeah, bro. Without what he said, nigga, so niggas had niggas niggas had to nigga. It was no way out. When you say he the only one, that's out of how many people? Twenty seven. Ooh, yeah. on that whole mm. thing, yeah, yeah. twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. Five that's, homegirls. That's Five, a rare occasion. All, all the homegirls kept it solid. Which is oh, crazy. Yeah. You would think. Oh, six, all seven. the homegirls kept it solid. But know. like, not, like not I girl. said, like I said, a motherfucker that's awaiting trial, you take a deal early, then you implicate some shit like. But if they say, are they a part of the money back boys? And y'all say, yeah, that, I know that was a part of the, the the deal. You get what I'm saying? But you, you can't have, you can't reword. You can't. You should have when they asked you about thug and all that. You should have asked your lawyer, can you get that reworded? So I I could admit and, and, guilt and, uh, to okay. myself. And then tell me this: if they say no, this way or no way, what's his obligation? Huh? 
If they say no, they're not changing it. It's this. His obligation is to thug it out. Crip. He got to thug it out. People, yeah, look, this is what happens. Like, the, the industry, you know, trying to force the industry the and the money is being so say. merged with the streets. It's causing the rules to change. Cause yeah. people started considering what you got to lose, and when it's time you stand on integrity. And yeah. depending on how much you got to lose, people think you're supposed to make a different decision based on what you face with, bro. Oh, but that's not how it go, not bro. How it, go, it ain't how it go. You know what you so signed up for as soon as you put them boots on. That's supposed to stand on integrity. Exactly. If you part of this, whether you got nothing or you got everything, you supposed to stand on integrity, bro. Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. Regardless. Yeah. The means yeah, is like, supposed to justify the end, not the other way around. We got uh, MMB June, man, and Spider Loke, man. It's been another no jumper, man. Class we We're going to have everybody back up here, we man. We're going to have Adam it. right here today. Good looking, time, Almighty. Man. Good yeah. looking. No, good good it was a pleasure, yeah. man. Shout out to Adam, man, for allowing us to do our thing. We already know. We already man. No jumper, man. The coolest podcast in the world, man. Night Stay tuned, man. You already know. It's the jerk, man. Six figure guard. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. We out this thing. Fact show with Finish. Keep it a Google. It's smooth. Be about your marathon at all. Yeah. Call, so my mama, yeah, mama, 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 mama